I'm taking you through now. And okay. Feel free to introduce yourself. All right. So, hello everybody. My name is Tom Rish. Um, you probably remember me. I was the restreamer for pretty much like half this marathon already. They they keep calling me back because they they can't have enough of me. So, uh. I'm gonna just go straight into it because this is gonna be a really long run. This is probably gonna be around three hours. So, right off the bat, the difficulty we're playing on is New Game Plus. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. The actual elements of New Game Plus don't show up until a little bit later in the game. So, I'll wait to talk about that. Um, let's just get through loading real quick and then we can talk about our first skip. Hecky, you can start timer, by the way. Okay. Good luck. So, right off the bat, the first skip that we're going to do is called so the Warzone skip. The um, right on the right at the top of the screen, that's enemy. our partner. We're both you detectives you with the San Francisco Police Department. About, right? um, Baseball, his name is Jones. He has a Jones, dialogue cannon. over at the I mean, end when was the last time that's you went to a talking about or took how a girl to a movie? the guy on Seriously, the left, Jones, whose name is Tanner, um, talking but about how his right. house is a okay, war zone. Partner, so we just try and go fast and skip that dialogue. It saves maybe about five to ten seconds. We are going to live a little. You got it. But, uh, I wouldn't bring a date back until you've done something You're probably not gonna hear him say it. Actually, no, I definitely got it. I thought that it was gonna come up in the subtitles, but it didn't, so I definitely got the skip. Uh, um, just quickly, when you have time, can you turn the game down a tiny bit? Yes. Thank you. I don't believe it! 40 Adams 30 heading east on Fremont in pursuit of Jericho, requesting backup now! Should've listened to you. Damn, I was an asshole. We can argue about who was the bigger asshole after we catch that bastard. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do that right now because I have to tab out to do that anyway. There we go. So I turned that down a little bit. Let me know if I need to do some more. Uh, no, that seems good now. So, right here, um,. If, if you know anything about the previous Driver games, the person that we're chasing, his name is Jericho. He's like the, the big villain for pretty much the entire Driver well, franchise. Um, inside, yeah, he just plan. broke out of prison and stole the prison van. And uh, the weird characteristic about his prison van is that he's scripted to get to the objective before we do. So he can actually just push like literally anything out of the way. And he's also got the only prison van with nitrous. Um, I'm actually purposely going a little bit slow here, but that's... Well, actually, not purposely. I'm just slow in general, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, a couple of things that you've probably noticed. I'm actually hitting a lot of wheel spin. It is actually faster to optimize and make sure that you don't hit wheel spin, but it's a lot of extra hassle for me to actually optimize. Some places I will be doing it. Other places I just don't bother because it's just a lot of hassle. Um, so one of the main story elements that you're going to see right here is that um, in that cutscene, we get hit by a giant truck, uh, Jericho forces us out into an intersection, and then, uh, so, in real life, Tanner gets put into a coma because of that accident, and now everything from here on is Tanner, Tanner's, uh, coma messed up dream thing. So, everything from now on is fake until the end of the game. Uh, none of it is in real life. Um... So things that I'm, things that I just completely forgot that I was gonna say. Uh, you hear that? Butchered that sentence. Whatever. Um, there's certain things we like to do something in this game called implementing racing lines, where it's essentially specific routing that helps us go faster. Um, I'm gonna do them in some places. I don't do a lot of racing lines compared to some of the other runners of this game, but you will still see me do some. There's actually one coming up here real quick that I'll point out. Um, <laughs> crashed into that building because it slows me down um so here's actually the racing line i stick to the left here so i can basically cut that entire corner and then hit the wall early to bump me right into that objective area so that was actually a good use of a racing line right there that made it a lot faster than it would be in casual gameplay um one thing i was mentioning earlier about wheel spin um well actually first of all in the story, um, we are actually driving the ambulance that 
So, so in Tanner's coma dream, we're driving the ambulance that's taking him to the hospital. Uh, it's really weird to understand. I'm not gonna really keep talking about... I'm not gonna talk a lot about the story because it does get a bit hard to understand. So, that's probably most of what you're gonna hear about the story. Um, if you want to hear more about that, you can look it up on the driver wiki. Um... This can't be That's real. a thing. Hey, hey, listen um, to me, right? What I was saying earlier about wheel spin, um, the less you turn the steering you wheel, the more power goes to the wheels. That means that you go hey. faster. Um, Keep it up. Just that a more goes bucks. along with so. um, you ain't ever driven like this not before. hitting wheel spin in the first place, and that means that you essentially have more control over the vehicle. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, big guy. I don't do a lot of that, so that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that. Uh, I skip pretty much all of the cutscenes in this game, so you're not going to see a lot of those at all. There are a few cutscenes that we can't skip, but those aren't till really the later game. Jones, what? It's me. Back. What? Back from where, man? Uh, forget it. I'm, I'm fine, really. Were you sure? That was a big hit we took back there. Maybe we should get you checked out. Nah. What were you saying just now? About the chop shop? So that was, um, I was honking my horn there in hopes that I was gonna get those AI cars to go straight through the intersection once they saw me coming. Uh, I still got hit anyway, so that was pretty, pretty slow. That could have been a lot better. Um, you're gonna see me honking my horn in the intersection because in some cases it doesn't happen always, but I have seen that if you don't honk your horn, and, and I don't really know how this works. I don't know why Ubisoft even implemented the horn as something that affects gameplay. But apparently if you honk um, while you're coming up to an intersection really fast, it will make them go through the intersection. Um, I don't understand how that works. Uh, yes, I'm slamming into this car to make it quicker to shift. Um, Steady breaths. Stay calm. Yeah, so that was just slamming into that car was to make it easier to shift. Just... Pick another car. Quicker to shift, right. not easier, quicker. I'm okay. Um, Maybe try something with a passenger. Talk to somebody. I'm gonna stay a little bit quiet. There is something, okay. something else coming up that get the hang of this. will never flag down. That, that I'll get to talk like about a lot one. more. So I'm gonna just stay quiet for a sec. Yes. Keep it down, buddy. Just drive the cab. Huh. Uh, right. Hi, I'm the driver. Quit yapping and get me across town. Not to her. I'm just the same guy I always was. I mean that he always was. Work. Whatever. Uh, can I read out a donation? Yeah. Feel free. We have a forty dollar, forty dollar, forty dollar donation from Romaine, who says, "Wake up, Tana." Oh yeah. Wake up, Tana. This is the I, I see what you did there. You're clever. Unfortunately, I think I skipped that cutscene. Yes, so. I'm just gonna floor it. Okay. Go right ahead. So right now we're in the first instance you're going to see your of a story mission. A um, Still thinking about it. So we'll we'll talk a lot more about the actual story missions uh, a little bit later once we get in there. This ties a lot in with the new game plus elements, but um, I'm not there. There is a specific routing that I take for this mission. Um, it basically gets me to the objective a lot faster because if in in casual gameplay most people won't know where the objective is so i make i take a specific route that will get me to the objective faster because i already know where that objective is so this is the objective that i was just talking about oh. um, yeah you have to do a jump in okay, that sir. blue Let's zone and then the it to, uh, starts this like plans? checkpoint driving route fine, thing fine. Let's get you back. That we have to do to finish off the mission. So we can still have some fun on the way, right? There are a few cars that I like in this game and a few cars that I hate in this game because after all, this game is a driving game. So th this is one of the cars that I really like to drive. The Ford GT is pretty, pretty okay. There's a few ones in the late game that I will talk about. Um, Boy, Ubisoft actually did a really good fun? job with the uh, driving mechanics of cars so it's it's not basically just like flat gameplay where all the cars drive the same like 
they they have different handling characteristics and and everything like that so ubisoft actually did a really good job with this game and i don't think this game gets enough credit for 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 what it is because i really do enjoy this game this was a game that i picked up casually in like 2011 or 2012 and i've been playing it pretty much ever since so it, even just casually i really recommend this game it, ubisoft did a really good job with it and they just don't get enough credit hey do you reckon it floats sir i have a dozen of Oh man, this is awesome. So, part of I, I know I said I wasn't going to talk about the story mission, but I, I do have to mention this where, one thing. Where now that we're in car? our coma dream, whatever body? whatever you want to call it, um, we have this ability to shift in between cars. So, oh, whenever on. I What's press B on here? my controller, it gets me into this like overworld type view where I can pick any car that I want what and shift into that see? car. I've got to find that so, car. Help them out um, I that can. will get. Right now, we only have one low-level shift, but that will get expanded with the new Game Plus elements. Um, this story mission right here that we have to do... Um, there is a setup. Essentially, we are the cops, and we have to take down that getaway by wrecking his car. Um, we have a setup for, like, a quick kill kind of thing. I don't know if I'm going to get it. It's basically RNG-based, because the cars here are not scripted. The goal is to slam into him and have the AI cop that's driving behind us slam into him as well. And then that's a setup for a quick kill. I almost had it there, but I missed it. So instead, I'm just going to finish him off with two cars instead of one. Now that's but how to catch a felon. With a little that, that was actually still pretty citizens. fast. I'm pretty proud of the time that I'm making right now. So the way that the story missions in this game work is that you have to complete two separate story missions before you can do the Tanner missions, which um, I, I know there's actually specific names for each one of the different story missions. I'm pretty much just referring to them all as story missions for now. Um, I know that's very vague, but you'll you'll see a little bit later why I'm doing that. Sorry, must have dropped out there for a moment. So what what I was saying earlier, you have to definitely yeah, okay. well, butchered Jared that simply as well. We don't know what um, you have to complete well, two we story missions game, before you can get into a Tanner guy. mission. Right. And so there's no specific order in this game that we complete these RPG. story missions. Um, it's based on pretty much proximity. Dark hair since it's died. So you'll and you'll see me just basically pick a random order of which. Um, missions I'll select and play, but that's also something that I'll talk about a little bit later. Right now we're pretty much in the prologue, and it's very limited what we can do and show. Right after this mission right here, though, um, we will get into the main, the main story. So right now we're basically entering into the main story. This is where all those new game plus elements that I was alluding to earlier come into play. So everything that you have unlocked transfers over to new game plus as it shows you here. So basically the way we play new game plus is that everything that we basically buy every single upgrade and everything possible and then then enter into new game plus which allows us to use all of those upgrades that we bought in the in the game in the new game that you play so um this category is quicker than regular any, any percent and i personally like it better than any percent because it takes a lot less effort i guess and there's a lot less things that you have to remember in terms of side missions and stuff like that um right here i actually need to focus i did try and I, b I basically have to oh, lose the cops, nice and these cops are pretty persistent in this mission, so Man, I'm basically trying to do some style stuff to try and lose them. Two ways that you can actually lose cops pretty quickly. I did try one. The, the first way that sometimes works, you can actually lose cops pretty quickly if you just slam on your brakes right at the start of the mission and then turn to the left or right. Uh, sometimes that that will this just basically easily drive. lose them, them right the away um the other way is to drive in oncoming traffic and or on the oncoming sidewalk uh that works sometimes too because they 
can't really keep up with you in oncoming traffic and they don't like to drive Man, on the sidewalk. Like um, of course I failed that because I hit another car, so... Um, basically the goal is I have to lose these cops before I get to this objective. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, so I might have to make a loop We're back around. There, there we go, I think I'm going fast enough that I'm losing them now. That's it! Keep it up! God damn it! Alright! So that that was that was less than optimal, but I, I still lost them pretty quickly anyway. I've had runs where it takes a very long time to lose those cops. Uh, that's pretty much my skill, and, and nothing else. This kid Ordell is trying to work his way up Jericho's organization. I can't let this opportunity slip. So this by. is an example of a cutscene that I can't skip. Anyway I can. Um, I basically just mash a anyway, but I know I can't skip it. You can probably Ordell, hear me vigorously Williams mashing a. Spencer, small fry, but they're working for Jericho's crew. Worth keeping my eye on. So, I believe this is the second mission we're gonna play. I think I know which one this is. Um, we have to scare a driving instructor. Um, I have a very, very fast way of doing so. Um, basically, you have to do a bunch of stunts and tricks and stuff to make the driving instructor's heartbeat get to 180 beats per minute. Um, this car is small enough where this actually works. I can basically just do this a bunch of fishtails, and oddly enough, in some of the other runs that I've watched, people don't actually employ this method, and I think this is actually the quickest method to do this mission. It's literally like 30 seconds worth of the mission, or it's it's just like a 30 second mission when you do this strategy. So I, I could ah, be wrong, go. but easy, I, I think that this is definitely the quickest way to do this mission, and I don't know why Pete other runners don't use that. So, as you can see, I just completed two story missions, so I get access to the first Tanner mission. Let's grab it. You know what? You want proof? Let me do something crazy with that guy, and you'll get your proof. There we go. Oh, just tell her you were with me, you drank too much, and you crashed at my place. She'll never find out. Never find out. So right now we have yeah, to jump off right. of car transporter. This is gonna um, be fun. Doesn't make any sense, I know. Uh, are you out of your mind? Hey -oh. Interesting. Same old thing. So I actually jumped off of a car transporter there, but that's the first. I don't think I did it with enough speed, so I don't think it actually registered. That's the first time I've ever had that happen. So Check there we go, it, it did actually Ooh, register. I think you just need more bad. speed. I've what never had that happen though. Holy crap, man. That guy's a complete maniac. Uh-uh. I'm the complete maniac. Okay, I almost flipped my car there. You got a tip uh, on the front. What's interesting. PTP? Unbelievable. Okay. I, I believe this is a sign. Nuts. I think this this means there's gonna be a bunch of random weird nuts. stuff that's never happened Watch. before that's gonna happen in this run. Uh I guess all it takes is a marathon for that to happen. Watch this, Jones. I'm telling you, you just jumped the freaking car over a truck. So for the I car did? transporters, there oh, is um there's there's in. actually methods what? that some runners use no. to manipulate the spawns of the car transporters. Um I don't Why I don't know those looks? methods, so obviously I don't eyes. use them. I just got really, really lucky there and had one like spawn in the intersection the across from me. Do. I don't I'm not fully aware if the same things the same methods can be used for the cop spawning. I believe I believe they can, but I I don't don't quote me on that one. Steady, man. Um, so More I'm. Cops. More fun. First of all, um, you're you're gonna see me hitting Y a lot to expand my mini map. The only problem is is that that pretty much completely ruins my entire field of view. So you've probably seen me already hit several cars, you know, rear end several cars. So um, neck. that is not all so, bad. Uh bad gameplay by me, that's because I'm actually trying to look at the mini-map and I cannot see where I'm going. This cop is very persistent. 
Um, so this is probably where I should talk about. We There's an instance in this game that's completely RNG based that we call Hero Cop. Um, I think this is an instance where that's actually happening, but there is sometimes there will just be one cop that's like, it's faster than every single other cop, can outrun, you know, drive an oncoming traffic, outrun everybody. Uh, I think that that cop that was following me had that oh, had those God. properties, but I think we lost one. Uh, essentially, they we, are we in yeah, some cases they can they be run be killers, and they're just like generally slow. Make, the color, um, they're just generally slow to deal yeah, with and an absolute burden because it makes missions where you can See lose that? cops, you know, I within like ten me, seconds take me. upwards of My three to five minutes so obviously there's not something that we want but they're completely rng based and can happen in pretty much any mission where you have to outrun the cops So I actually, I'm, I'm a bit weary right now because I actually damaged my car a lot more than I thought I was going to, but luckily we're hooking ourselves to a tow truck, so I guess we can take ourselves to a garage to get it fixed, I don't know. Wait a couple minutes, then punch me in the face as hard as you can. And Hecky, by the way, if you have any donations, just interrupt. All I'm doing is pretty much rambling at this point, so if you have donations, just interrupt me and hey, read them out. Um, so the third mission we're in, we have to essentially film, no filming permit for this street uh, Let's get bad drivers in San Francisco. Right yeah, yeah. Okay. Ready to put the uh, car two, in three. carnage? Do you know something I don't? Just keep your camera rolling, Jeff. It's Jack. Uh, this, this objective can good. slow you down from 90 miles an hour to zero in, what is that, like two feet? So, gotta love game mechanics. Gotta love Ubisoft. So, essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to doing, use our brand Making new shift time. mechanic. I don't think Who I'm gonna be able to do it in that car, but we're gonna use our brand new shift mechanic to... Uh, film all of the bad drivers in San Francisco by ourselves. Um, so we have to drive Not over 100 miles an hour. Flats, but good enough for Kate. Uh, that one's we done. Got our speed, freak. Come on, give me some tires, Mom. We have to film a quick drift, so we're gonna skirt, Love it. skirt real quick. Drifting's cool, but I want to see cars colliding head on. Um, so for, for the, for the head-on collision, um, the blue walls actually make it really hard. Um, I don't know if the video does it justice, but it's actually really hard to see through these blue walls, so you can't actually figure out where the cars are. I was, thought that was going to count as a head-on, but apparently not. Um, you can actually see some of the other cars that are coming through. There we another go, day, so that counted. Um, I totally wasted maybe like 25 seconds in that just because I could not see some of the cars that were coming. What do you think? I love it, but I want more. If you say so. So some of the mechanics that we actually get with New Game Plus, you get them right at the start of the game, but we have a essentially enlarged boost in RAM bar. Um, that's an upgrade that you can buy that carries over in New Game Plus. So oh, we have uh, really, really long boost capabilities. I'm gonna give Jeff some TV gold. All I gotta do is play Pied Piper There we go, okay, there's a cop coming that way. Jump through some hoops. Um, I can't believe you're going to buy me a car. I love you, Daddy. Come on, there we go. okay. Who wants their five minutes of fame? Here we go, everyone. Hold on tight. Hooey! That's a wrap. And I smell awards. Best early evening low-budget people are stupid show. Huh, we deserve it, Jeff. We do, and my name... So I just played a little bit of the, the dialogue there. Um, that was actually partially because I totally forgot to skip, but also that actually gives you an idea Dude, of... I'm just being realistic. Uh, one comment that I wanted to make was that Ubisoft actually did a really good job with the writing in this game, oddly enough. 
Um, that's another one of the reasons why I like this game. Um, you'll you'll start to see it progressively more and more throughout the run of the dialogue that they've put in and the, the actual like work within the writing that they've put into this game. Um, so definitely for the, for that and some of the other things that I've said about how I like this game, uh, you should definitely play this game. Um, it's a really good casual game. You can also pick it up for speedrunning if you would like, but. We only have a few runners. I believe we literally have five runners for New Game Plus in San Francisco, so... Uh, we definitely welcome you if you want to pick up this game for a speed run. It is a bit long, but hey. Uh, otherwise, playing it casually is just as good. Halfway home and kicking ass. I don't know if Hecky has anything to say, but I believe we have actually just made $1,000. Uh, our original goal for this marathon was 500, but I believe we have surpassed 1,000, so I don't know if Hecky has anything to say about that, but... So, it's like you're possessed. In a good way, right? Uh, yeah, we did reach 1,000. I, I said that earlier when I read out the donation, but... Thank you to everyone who's donated so We're far. First, high five. Hey, um, for anyone I'm unaware, do um, anything after the original $500 goal goes to Save the Children. So, if you want to keep helping, you can keep donating if you like. Yes! What did I say? Not a problem. So, we completed another set of two. Uh, side missions or story missions, so we get another Tanner mission. This is dispa This is Sarah Allen. I hear you, Sarah. You at City Hall? I was by the plaza when they grabbed me. Public place. They got ball. So uh, it actually Hang says this. Sarah. It it has a fun. Uh, in the main menu for this game, Ubisoft put a few fun facts that you can read. Um. The yellow and yellow challenger with black racing stripes is actually a nod Shape to. Up, it's a nod to strip. the early beta of the original driver, where this car was the car that they used to test. So, that's just a little bit of a fun fact. I rear-ended another car back there, but it actually helped me out. So, I'm not gonna question it. Going through a short tunnel? Or an underpass. We're coming, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, where are you now? I heard a bunch of police sirens. I don't... No, there's nothing to be called in. Maybe ambulance sirens. City hospital close. Good call. I'm, I'm really not liking the... Hello? Sarah? God damn it. I'm really not liking how many people I'm rear-ending, but I'm not going to question it, so... trying to focus. We need to focus on the lady in the dance hall. I am. So, uh, Son of a auto scroller. I gotta pop the truck. Can't have a speed run without auto scroller. Uh, we just shifted ourselves into the lady that is stuck in the quote-unquote damn trunk. Oh, what? I was there in the trunk. I busted it open. Give me a heads up when you do it. I want to know if you're Tanner or some zombie autopilot. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so pretty much m in most of the missions, there are some missions where... What, the road's not good enough for you? It, I don't know why it keeps happening. I, I think well, it might on, just be man, my 100 yeah. IQ that I've got going on, but... There, there are certain times where cars are scripted and certain times where they aren't. I believe in this mission the cars aren't scripted, and I've had, I've been honestly downtown, having a lot of problems with downtown. intersections right, right. and and hitting cars in intersections while, for some reason. I have so, not yeah. had these problems before, so add it to the list of things that happen during a marathon. Ugh. Oh. Ooh. If you're gonna hurl, come on, Sarah. So for some reason the the hitbox for that trigger is way far out from the actual trigger and you're you're going to see it again right here, right here there's actually a skip that we road. can do that actually it's utilizes wheel spin on, and drifts all the enough that we can actually use to get the cutscene trigger early 
so for some reason, uh, if you just go around this corner, uh, you get the cutscene early instead of having to drive up to the actual car. Um, this is where, if, if you haven't already noticed, the, the mechanics towards crashes in this game are definitely not realistic at all because if if this was real life any of the crashes that I've had so far probably would have killed me um, so yeah that's not realistic at all and this is another instance where I totally missed the car right there but okay um, this is another instance of something that's absolutely not realistic at all um, it actually restarted me there because I missed the car uh, never had that issue before but the, the lady that's stuck in the trunk there uh, definitely would be dead. I don't know why this keeps doing this to me. I think I actually have to inflict damage onto the other vehicle with this vehicle. Um, I've never had this issue before, but there we go. Okay, I've got some damage on him. Um, I'm shifting out right as I hit them, right as I hit the other vehicle, because I'm trying to cancel the animation that it gives when you take down a vehicle and destroy the vehicle i'm trying to skip that animation so i shift out every time i hit the vehicle to cancel that animation um i don't think for some reason i'm not inflicting any damage on this vehicle and i don't know why so this is going to be slow but bear with me there we go well done why thank you so if this was real life, the lady in the trunk would probably be dead. Uh, that driver would definitely not be living. Uh, so this is definitely unrealistic, but... An industrial chemist. Why is that ringing alarm bells? But we've got in between all the tanner missions, we actually get this, like, case board Could... that basically connects all the dots with the case. Um, for, for a first time, for somebody who plays this game for the first time, I actually really like that mechanic. Um, because it does actually help. There is one other thing that you'll see a little bit later. I don't know if it comes up now. It doesn't actually come up now, but, uh, they do a little bit of, if I can center on that, they do a little cutscene that's, like, previously on Driver San Francisco that shows you all the things that happened in the last set of missions that you played. Um, for people who play games sparingly... That's actually really useful. I know when I was first playing this game, it was actually really useful because I would only play the game right. like we got a few, you know, a, a couple weeks on, a couple weeks off, something like that. So that was actually really helpful for me to figure out what I was doing in the game last. So this might actually be, okay, I don't know if I hit that there. That was going to be another one of the setups for that quick kill. If we hit the vehicle we're trying to kill head on, and then the cop car behind it hit hit it as well, uh, that would be a setup for a quick kill. Um, but unfortunately, the AIs totally drove out of the way of the car, so that did not work. I tried to skip the animation there, but that also failed. So Another happy ending. Don't worry, these are all minor things. Um, Listen to me. So, something, when you're all the way zoomed out on the mini-map, or, or not on the mini-map, but on like the open world map thing that you get, when you're all the way zoomed out, um, the big yellow icons that are above Jesus, the missions you have to complete, I need little bay to play um, at least one the lightning bolts are yeah, the stunt missions, out. which Four is one rappers. of the ones that I'm doing Kate now. Know where the show is, um, so the stars the are pursuits and chase, and the, the flags are races, the so new. hopefully that will allow you to distinguish which missions I'm doing at the current time if you I've can't figure it out on your own. The goal of this mission is essentially to smash all the signs so some some gang member can't Get go together, like shoot Gary, up a club or something safe. like that i think that's pretty much the premise of the mission but ubisoft doesn't want to make it that harsh so to keep it t-rated so Whoa! you don't actually have to hit all of the signs to complete this mission. You'll you'll see me only hit some of them. There's one like right that they put smack dab in the center right there that obviously is one you should hit because it's basically on your path. 
There's one that's like right on the outside over there, which is totally inefficient considering we're doing like hairpin turns here. So there's certain ones that you have to hit and certain ones that you don't have to hit. That trend continues in some of the later missions. Uh, there are actually a couple of different types of smash missions that you can play where you essentially have to drive your car to smash different objects. Um, also, one thing that if you haven't already noticed, uh, unlike the other games in the Driver series, this is not actually... Uh, you cannot exit cars in this game. There is no... Um, it, it's pretty much... It's not like GTA. You cannot get out of your car and do things. In the previous Driver games, you could get out of your car and get into another car and shoot stuff up pretty much like GTA. Uh, they decided when they Ubisoft was making this game that they did not want to do that anymore, so it's now completely driving based and all in car. <laughs> Good luck finding the club now, KP. You gonna pay for this, Violas? I'm gonna get paid when Little Bay's spitting on you from the top of the chart. Come on, a blind chimp would do better behind the wheel. Uh, also, that lady is right. A blind chimp would probably do better behind the wheel, because I'm still rear-ending people and hitting people head-on left and right, and I don't know why. Um. Uh, this game also has, like, an in-game okay. jukebox soundtrack it kind of thing. Of course, I can't play that music because that is copyrighted, but cathedral. you can actually uh, see it in the bottom left Let's corner. Go. I can, in certain missions, I can actually play the music and, you know, skip track and all that. Um, you're gonna see it come up, because even though the audio is muted, it's still technically playing in the Can't background, so you're gonna see some songs coming up that car. aren't actually Maybe playing. Find out who the girl with the knife was. Uh, so I just did a mechanic there, which is called, uh, ram cancelling. Um, if I use right trigger on my controller, um, it activates this sort of, like, ram mode, where it will boost you forward at a really high speed, and then slow you down to, like, inflict a bunch of damage on a vehicle that you're trying to hit. Um, we can use that to our advantage for when we're turning. It allows us to hey, make our turn close, radius, man. like, back a bit. Just super, just super, lose. super do clean. Do that? When did we super, get super, super short. Not um, so we use that a lot when we're trying to get around tight corners and not do a whole bunch of wheel spin. Um, you'll see me using it pretty much almost you every mission off, in this man. game, because rope. it's a really Fine, useful mechanic. If you keep following this close, she's gonna know something's up. Runner plates, old-fashioned police work. Now you talk in my language. Control, this is 40 out of 30. Run this plate for us, would you? 8 B. So we have to stay 50 meters behind this. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot behind this too. person Let's that we're following. Away, uh, I'm best, trying man. not to give story Understood. spoilers, but we have we're to stay 50 meters this. behind her. Good. You want to take the Unfortunately, um, that is not working because I keep forgetting that I have to stay 50 meters behind her. But the other thing is, the other part and where this game is unrealistic is the fact that I uh, highly, highly doubt yeah, that she hasn't made us at this point. Um, yeah, right. like you know, because we're kind of like following we directly behind her. So, uh, I don't understand control. what Ubisoft was I've thinking. There's a few things, a few story elements in this game that just don't add up but other than that you know they, they kind of make up for it in the writing that they've done for this game uh, 40, and some 30, of the mechanics that they put in Interpol this game got a hit on that visual. She's coming up as an American citizen I, I really have descent. to hang back because uh, I, keep, Sharon. I, I keep a rising suspicion Damn, so Thanks, I'm gonna control. have to hang uh, you know her? way far She's back got a reputation and not for her looks so what do you know about her she's a killer for hire cut her teeth in Africa Whichever dirty war, whichever side, the girl knows how to get paid. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind paying her some. She's not your type, Jones. Unless you like girls who stab you on the first date. Pricey, too. Only one crook in town's got the weight to put her on. So, here. right here, um, obviously I couldn't do it because I had to hang smart. way not back helpful. to make sure I didn't fail this mission, but, um, if you get way, if you get close to her, uh, her vehicle scripted to get onto the Golden Gate Bridge before you do, 
So if you're way too close to her, she'll just dart up the on-ramp at like 9,000 miles an hour because she has to get there before you in order for the game to work. Um, because of, so, so right here, because of Tanner's screwed up coma mind thing that he's got going on, uh, he can't cross the bridge, so we're just gonna sit here in the middle of traffic and block everything while he has his midlife crisis. dreams of nowhere else. Layla Sharon, assassin. You can bet your life she's our shooter from the helicopter, which means she's on. I put down every dollar we won last time. I put down. So in in the race missions, most of the race missions that we're gonna do. Um, well, actually, I'm not going to say most of them, because I think it's actually closer to 50-50. Some of the races that we do, we actually go out to... We, we basically shift into oncoming traffic and try and kill all the vehicles that are against us. So, that's actually one way that you can win races in this game. Is if you, um, kill and kill slash retire the opponent's vehicles. Um, so hey, that we do that sometimes in, in certain early. races. The races at the beginning, it's actually faster to just complete them outright. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, some of the later like races have like uh, eight to ten actual uh, opponents in them. So that's actually really hard to retire awesome. all of those opponents using oncoming traffic so those are ones that we also just out complete outright oh, yeah, um one, one other thing one. that you've probably noticed uh this car i mentioned earlier about how ubisoft actually paid attention to like uh, the handling characteristics and stuff in this game um there's certain vehicles that have absolutely if horrible win, oversteer no more and there's certain vehicles that have absolutely deal, deal. horrible understeer uh this is a, an example of a vehicle that has horrible oversteer Pretty much every time I turn, we we end up sideways and start drifting. So uh, I actually really don't like this vehicle because of that, because I have pretty much no control over it. Towards the end of the game, we have vehicles that have some actual control, so we we, we don't have that problem later in the game. But um, later in the game, you'll also see the the Hummer, the Hummer H3. That is an example of a vehicle with horrible horrible understeer and it's to the point where you can win. base you can't control the vehicle it's it's so horrible so uh i guess for Damn, for realism yeah, adding like the tiniest bit of realism that doesn't actually make this game at all realistic uh that made sense for ubisoft i guess but I'm in front, baby. We should talk about the wisdom um, of it, it actually on a is race. pretty unbearable about? We're kicking uh, at certain points. Ayumu, it won't Oversteer's not as bad as understeer, what, but understeer just like makes this? you want to kill yourself. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much just winning just this race by a long shot. Yes, we did. Um, the Still earlier college, races are not that hard to win. Living. Some of the later races get a bit hard because they put like seven different game elements inside of it to make sure that it's actually hard. Um, I'm just trying to basically center my crosshair on this thing so I can shift straight into it. This is an example of a mission where we're not actually taking part in the race. We're using oncoming traffic to kill all of the opponents that I'm against. Um, and in missions like this, the game tends to spawn f more like vans and heavy vehicles. Um, ah, because these vehicles Who's can next? pretty much one-hit kill, um, the race opponents. One. Who's up uh, next? damage also transfers through vehicles, I think you can see that right there. Um, I hit another vehicle, and the other vehicle hit the one I was trying to hit. Um, Taken down. Two. Remaining. so damage does transfer through vehicles. Um, this is actually really fast, I haven't, I don't think I've had a this fast of a clear on these Which one cars in a while a of driver. course that would be better if i didn't miss that but what are you gonna do i'm not actually looking at chat but as soon as i said what are you gonna do i can imagine some people were telling me to get good if they weren't i'm pretty sure i'm just i'm pretty sure i gave them an idea Ah, 
didn't think I forgot about you, did you? So there's actually a con there's a control that's mapped to the left stick on, man. on my uh, controller. You, you um, if I press down the left stick, it quick switches I hope we can all take something back into the I'll car you that you're supposed to be in, which in this case was the police car. Um, I tend to accidentally hit that a lot, but I also can't remap it for when I actually need it. So I you, sometimes you'll see me accidentally shift back into another vehicle. Uh, that is purely on accident, but I do actually need that mechanic sometimes, so I do keep it bound to that anyway. We need a so this is another auto scroller. This is actually a pretty pretty horrible auto scroller. That's just I don't want to be the honestly I don't even know why they put it in there. Like if they they did their best to try and make it not blatant that it was an auto scroller, but it's it didn't work uh so basically we get to sit in this helicopter for about a minute and a half to two minutes um so if you've got any donations now would be the time um i there's basically a reticule that you need to scan vehicles but you don't actually have to scan any of the vehicles until you get to the vehicle that you have to scan which it tells you which one it is so not really our priority right now I'm actually going to look at chat right now. If we have any donations, you can read those and then. You think of a good place to start? Oh, yeah. Whoa, what's that? Full spread of emergency services. A traffic accident. Looks serious. Fire truck. And a big tanker. That's serious, all right. Oh, God. Don't see that every day. No kidding. Either way, that's not our guy. And, and yes, uh, I am actually just scrolling through chat right now. I, I use the word kill a lot. It's just easier for me to say. Um, so basically, when I'm hitting vehicles outright, I'm wrecking the vehicle. But I just say kill, because that's essentially what comes naturally to me when I say it. Uh, uh, this game is rated T, so technically I'm not allowed to kill anybody, but don't worry about it. We're going to kill some people. It's fine. Uh, speaking of killing people, you Whoa, can't actually hell, kill pedestrians in this game. Yeah, this new bird's a beaut, ain't she? Um, if you drive on the sidewalk, the pedestrians just magically like slide out of your way. Oh. Uh, what I'm going to try and do here is scan the vehicle that I need to scan before Next. I actually can see the vehicle that I need to scan. I think I got it there. Um, the car's riding low too, I could have gone it a little bit faster, but I cargo. got it as fast as I possibly could. Uh, I just, all I needed to do was scan okay, the vehicle with that reticule here? before I could actually see the vehicle the so the dialogue would speed up. Yeah, a gun on the passenger seat. Um, so this, is this Range Rover is, uh, the, the handling mechanics have made it essentially heavier to drive with the handling. Uh, don't worry about that, I actually just missed my turn, so. Um, this vehicle is actually heavier than it normally is because it's got a bunch of platinum in the back of it. Uh, so now that we've got this car in the back okay, of the police truck, we there. have to get this to get police truck to evidence. the police compound. Um, we're, we're gonna have some baddies trying to take us down, but I'm too fast for them, so they, they can't take us down. Uh, that car actually just clipped through the floor a little bit there, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I take an alternate route to the one that it wants to... It wants you to take. Um, that's because... The bad guys actually come from the opposite direction, or the direction that they want you to go. That's where the bad guys actually come from. Where so you can actually see them behind from? me because I didn't take, Damn, take that turn as smooth as I wanted to. But it actually saves us a lot of damage, and we actually do get hit a lot by the, the bad guys in this game. So uh, that was definitely less than optimal. Right there, I think I'm just... I was, I was actually thinking about restarting there. I might have to restart anyway, because this just sucks. I have everybody piling up on me right now. I'm going to see if I can get there in time. Pray to RNG this, guys. Someone wants this platinum real bad. We did it, boys. We did not have to restart.
Now I'm gonna try and make this as fast as possible so I don't make myself look like an idiot. Not that I haven't done that already. Uh, cause it's, it's real squeaker hours up in here, boys. So apparently you can also do handbrake turns in big rig trucks. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing you can do in real life, but I'm not going to complain. Even in big rig trucks, I still like to be Platinum able to skirt. A good score. And if it is Jericho, then it's only one piece of the puzzle. So this next race mission that I'm going to be doing, this is actually an example of um, where I'm going to be actually, I'm, I'm going to say it again, but I'm going to be killing the other opponents that we have to. So the opponents that I have to kill are these two red Corvettes. So I'm just going to be using oncoming traffic to hit them head on and hopefully one hit kill them. Uh, I almost had it there. I almost had a one hit kill, but apparently I didn't. I'm actually going to use this fire truck because it's big and beefy. Okay, let's see I if totally missed him, okay. Uh, I am apparently bad. Okay. So this is another example of places that it puts a lot of heavier vehicles in. It puts, for some reason on this stretch of road, the game likes to spawn okay, a lot of like Jaguars, enough. Jaguar XKRs, those type of vehicles, and then it also likes to spawn a bunch of like Chevy Blazers, which are like basically beefed up SUVs. Michael, they'll have me killed if he ever finds out about us. Well, let's keep a. Where are you guys? So I'm gonna have to go all the way back here. There we go. Okay. I, I like the end of my missions as photo finishes, so. Ah. So, the essentially, um, I have to follow these two cop cars. I actually technically only have to follow one of them, but they're both super fast and basically the game in most cases has made sure that they are going to be ahead of me. Uh, I don't, honestly don't know why we need that, but in, in the context of this mission, I don't know why it's necessary, but I'm not going to complain. There is a way to actually get ahead of these cop cars and essentially, you know, they can be behind you, but you can arrive at the objective first without actually losing the escort. Um, I can't, I'm not going to do that because I actually have not memorized the routing for this. I, I know some of it, but I don't know all of it. So I don't want to totally screw this up. I actually had one of these cops get stuck in between, in between. They, they got stuck in between like a light post and a tree that were both solid. And they, they just got completely stuck and couldn't get out. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened there. I've never seen that before. But I, I actually know the routing from here, so I'm just going to continue without them. Like I said, I wasn't going to do. I believe that was the turn, so. Like I said, I knew the routing from here. Apparently, I don't know the routing from here, so. Uh, post your lulls in chat now for me forgetting the routing that I said I wasn't going to forget. We need to be on site in about 30 seconds. Can we do it? Yeah, ask me in about 30 seconds. So there's actually two parts to this mission. Um, there's a big giant bomb in like a city center right there. Uh, we were driving the bomb defusal now, tech to the up. bomb in the first part of the mission. And then in the second part of the mission, we're actually taking down the bad guy. Um, again, we're using oncoming to do that. Uh, still trying to set up one of those quick kills. I don't think I'm actually going to get one though. 
Are we needed anywhere specific right now? Um, Here we go, he's SA. gonna come Time back to this way, I think, so I'm gonna oh, use this car to hit that. him. And then I think we only need one more hit and then he's dead. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know why cars are flipping left and right. Uh, this generally doesn't happen, but I'll, I'll just go with it, I guess. We're, we're having so many... He, he did it again. Uh, this guy, this guy's got a rollover city, problem, I think. Uh, yes. Whoever was telling me about forgetting to forget, you are correct. Ah. So, right in the first mission, uh, Jericho stealing okay, that police van. The uh, this Those is the police van that he stole and eventually blew up. Yeah, we're, gonna uh, we're gonna have, apparently, Jericho's bad guy crew wants it back, so truck? we have to Up protect it. Uh, this is actually one of my least favorite missions. In fact, I absolutely hate this mission. I think it's just a waste of time. Uh, it sucks. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit. It's basically just three minute auto scroller that's even worse than the helicopter. At least in the helicopter, you can actually like get up and get a snack in the middle of your run. Uh, here, you actually have to deal with it, and it's just painful. Oh man, we're a big fat sitting duck. Hell, I'm locked into this now, so I might as well enjoy it. So I That's used that fire spirit. truck to protect Better me. That was completely unintentional, anchor, right? but I wouldn't worry about it. This isn't over. If Jericho wants this truck. I know he'll send more guys. So this is why this is my least favorite mission. Um, we have to spend a minute and a half basically just sitting here taking down cars. Which, yes, granted, we do get shift to do that, but unfortunately it still sucks. It's horrible. It's painful and I hate it. So I'm not going to be doing much talking just because there's nothing really to talk about here. So again, if we have more donations, they, now's a good time. I didn't realize San Fran had so many hoods for hire. Where the hell are these guys coming from? Gotta keep your eyes on the city, pal. Great. Boom! A classic takedown! Stay down! Ah, this is a nice ride. Um, looking at chat, somebody who just asked me, uh, if there's a way to drive freely in this game. Um, I'm actually gonna have to read that a little bit more so I can get the context, but... Uh, yes, there is pretty much... Let me, let me actually see. Um, is there actually a way to drive freely in SF? Yes, there is. Um, basically, as long as you get past basically the prologue that we did, um, you can just literally Welcome use the game to, the to drive freely. Um, you don't get all the vehicle unlocks until you actually complete the game but you can pretty much just use this game to do free drive around san francisco if that's all you want the game for uh that failed miserably but in order to get all the vehicle unlocks and have like you know different ai vehicles that go around the city you have to com complete the game itself um hopefully that answered the question if that was Hold even the question that you were asking time. if not message me again and tell me i'm an idiot that's fine Oh, I'm doing so horribly right now. It's just bad. Uh, that was interesting. Okay, so that actually worked, I think. Maybe. 
Uh, I also had like two of them hit the van at once, so that sucked. Uh, right when this timer runs out, the cops are actually going to be on their way to <laughs> what can the I van. Say? I feel good today. So what it's going to do is it's just going to tell me uh, kill all the re remaining ones. It won't spawn any new ones. Better get these boys before they cause me to fail this mission. Huh? He wasn't. Uh, that guy's probably gonna hit the van. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I totally got spared there. Uh, I thought that was actually gonna be my mistake, and that was gonna be rip this mission. But apparently, I'm lucky. So. He literally has the slightest sliver of health left on that van. Uh, so this game is slightly technical. Um, if if you've been playing the game casually, like if you've played this game casually, most of the stuff that I'm talking about is stuff that you'll pretty much know about. Um, but some of it is a bit technical. Sir, there are a few actual like, like strats for this game. Um, but some of it is just basically like testify? common sense. Yes, I do. We'll keep off the main uh, just to make common sure. sense things that you learn oh, casually and plan. I feel safer already. Pretty much that's that's what it is. Uh, oh great. The first cop I get's been bought the, off. This game's not I'm actually that hard of a speedrun like either. A uh, it's hey, just easy, fella, the easy. game's really good. long. So that's what turns a lot of people off from this See, speed run. Instead, it's pretty much for for a good exactly. run. This is a three-hour run. So that's what turns a lot of people off from this game. But I still recommend it as a speed game. Probably not the first one while well starting out, but I, I still recommend it. It is a pretty good game and casually as well. Uh, right oh, now man. in this mission, we just have this to stay on well. side roads because apparently this guy gets like super paranoid on main roads or something. I don't know. <laughs> United States witness protection is, a, is an interesting, I was interesting thing. You might as well paint my ass orange and stick me on the roof. Hey, calm down, fella. Calm down. We're out of here. Uh, 40 out of the. I mean, Polar Bear, this is Igloo. Safe house is compromised. Request immediate fallback. Over. A new location has been sent to your PDA. Uh, we got another problem. What now? I set up a dead man's drop online. If I don't get to a computer real soon, a lot of bad files are going public. <sighs> Man. Polar Bear, you better get ready, because we're coming in hot. Out. So I'm actually taking a lot of time to look at my mini map here. Um,. Can't you just drive around a corner? Look, everybody. I, I am I basically trying like to figure out the way to go here, huh. and I think I figured out a pretty 11. optimized way. We're just on two. So it's it's a good job they give you a fast vehicle for this, because essentially what I'm doing is trying to instead of staying on the back roads like the game suggests is just go really really Good fast on the main man. roads and then hope i don't Thanks. get to the top I level guess. of paranoia no problem. so then restart the mission um a lot of rng and a lot of blind hope is what i'm pretty much going through right now that was not what i wanted that is what i wanted that flat so um, so the driving uh, instructor mission earlier where we like essentially just had to do a bunch of fishtailing to Let's get the driver to scare the driving instructor. Um, we're gonna do that again here. Uh, unfortunately it's not a Fiat 500 like it was before. So it's not small and nimble. It's gonna be like a Ford Mustang and that's gonna suck to do this in. But we'll, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. How did they get to Haynes, I wonder? The guy's a complete nobody. Never achieved nothing. Sack full of Benjamins has an effect on losers like that. We ain't gonna find our man Did it again. A uh, spending too much time looking at my mini map. Uh, rip me. Like Post your goals for fix. the fact that uh, I cannot see where I'm going. New bling -mobile. He ought to stick out. Maybe this explains why I'm such a bad driver in real life. That's got to be our man. There's actually a little cutscene bug there that I didn't get. Sometimes if you get there quick enough, obviously I was slow.
You can actually drive Tanner's car, which is the yellow and black challenger. You can drive that around in this cutscene and like just, you know, rear end this guy and, you know, whack him, smack him around with your car pretty much while you're in the cutscene. Uh, but that's only if you're fast enough. Unfortunately, I was not fast enough because that seems to be an ongoing trend with this run. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the driving instructor. Just fishtail around a little bit and get him to 180 beats per minute well, and then down, apparently he'll speak everything. he'll he'll speak his wisdom what the hell is wrong with you come on man you can take my lunch i don't want your lunch dennis so bigger drifts you actually insane? get you more points die. in this case unfortunately i'm not doing big out. enough drifts so, sometimes if you do, like, super big drifts, you can get 10 points, but regular drifts only get 4. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much slam on my brakes and hit the handbrake, and then ram cancel to the left, and then hopefully I can lose all of those enemies all at once. Um, that would be the goal. I think one of them might be trying to be a hero. So I might not lose them here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose them because I'm an idiot, but I almost had them there. Uh, that is an instance where it, the run actually got technical, and then when I was trying to turn around, I just got whacked around again, so. Uh, thanks to RNG for, for being a bitch. Uh, you're, you're on the sidewalk. You know, a lot of people like to point that out to me. So, so now we're reduced driving fast. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to work either. I was not able to go around that car because these trees that are in the center are the only solid trees in this entire game. So uh, I try not to hit those because those are solid as well. Uh, right up here, I believe I'm going to attempt the thing that I was trying earlier, which is slam on my brakes and go left. See if that works. I don't think that's going to work, but... It might, might, maybe not. I'm not sure. Jeez, I almost lost my lunch. Uh, okay. Uh, I've never had that happen before either. Uh, this marathon run is the first for everything, I guess. Uh, I may have actually had a shot at losing him there, but unfortunately, uh, flipped the car. So. Oh crap. So. I'm actually just gonna restart. I, I horribly fucked that up. So that's not actually gonna lose that much time. That's gonna lose literally a minute and then this run, it doesn't do anything. Please, just let me live. Give me what I need, Dennis. I, I think somebody's trying to be a hero, so you know what that means. I'm gonna uh, do some quick style right there, I guess, and then go right because they're all busy going 130 miles an hour, I'm just gonna go right and then go left again. Haha, I think I might have got them this time. Got them, I believe. Damn it, I don't got them. This guy's trying to be a hero. Why is there always one guy that's trying to be a hero? This sucks. I make myself look like an idiot. I'm making myself look like an idiot uh, over and over and over again. Big meme, guys. Big meme. Continue to post those lulls in the chat for how many times I'm gonna fail this mission. They're still after us. I'm screwed. Hey, I'll say you made me do it. All of it. Do it again, I guess. All right. So, so he's you fast approaching on my tail. Down. So. What? You've grown a conscience. There we go. I think I might have got him. I don't know, probably not. I tend to be wrong about these things sometimes. Is is this going to be the day? This is going to be the day, I believe. I'm We're finally going to get out of this mission, lol. You better talk okay, that's you fine. Suck. We're, we're oh, going to get out of this Leo. mission. Paint me a picture, Dennis. She was really hot, okay? Kind of foreign looking. She's probably the one who wants me dead. I helped you, Haynes. Now, you help me. 
Who was Layla so, uh, that, Man, that mission sucked. Uh, that was a horrible, horrible so time loss that I could have avoided. It's, it's not gonna lose that much time, but that, I've had runs where I get, I, I lose those enemies within, like, ten seconds, and then, so, obviously, in, in my PB, I think I did that. So, for the first part of this mission, you actually have to drive Tanner's car to the thing, which, well, well, Tanner's car is, you know, a challenger, it's, you know, a classic muscle car. Uh, it's still actually not that fast, its top speed is 135, provided you're not going uphill. So, uh, that actually sucks for that kind of stuff, and in the later game, it's actually really good they didn't give you the challenger for the end of the game, because you literally wouldn't be able to complete this game if you had the challenger at the end. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, use some passenger buses and hit these tankers while that tanker goes and glitches out or something. I don't know. Uh, because we don't care about, uh, we definitely don't care about pedestrians, we definitely don't care about the lives and souls that are on those buses, so we're just gonna use them to hit some, hit some tanker trucks. Now that's one down. So we actually have to get back in Tanner's car and continue to the next objective, which is pretty far away, so. So, also, um, since the top speed of this car is 135, a uh, boost doesn't actually help you get above top speed. Um, so that's that that's actually the same one. with any car. Okay. You cannot get above the top speed of the car even with boost. Two tankers and one of me. Um, so, yeah, rip that dream, I guess. But, we, you know, we can't have a 280 mile an hour Dodge Challenger. Unfortunately. Maybe it would make this game a lot easier if we could, but... I'm just gonna take that car with me real quick. Uh, I, uh, those cars just clipped into each other, I think. I'm not sure what happened there, but I'll take it. Two down, one to go. One tanker to go. First, eh? Then we can fight all you like. Now hold on, I've got some. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Uh, the the dividers in the highway on this thing is are, they're just absolutely horrible. Uh, can I make it with this bus? Uh, I cannot make it with that bus. Um, the dividers are absolutely horrible. They make this nine thousand times harder than it should be. In their tracks. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly shift back into Tanner's car because this skips some dialogue that Jones is gonna say. So you're you're just gonna hear absolutely nothing at the end of this because it skipped the dialogue that Jones has and some of the dialogue that Tanner has as well. Um, normally it the, it will auto shift you back into your own car, Jericho's but if you shift before that, uh, it will not play the dialogue. So that actually that. saves maybe, maybe ten it's seconds. Time to call in some favors. See if we can't get Krug released on a technicality. Bug his car. Um, see where that takes us. Coming up here, I don't know if this is a the split for chapter four. It is the split for chapter four. So, uh, chapter four is the worst chapter in this game. It sucks. It's horrible. Uh, but also add it to the list of things that suck and are horrible for this speed game. This game is great casually, but this speed game has some things that just suck. Uh, one of them is this. Uh, we are in a dune buggy with these super beefed up spiky off-road tires that don't do shit. 
They literally don't do anything. I can literally just totally, totally drift on this dirt and then get out of control. So these tires don't do a damn thing for, for grip. Uh, waste of money. That's fraud. We should sue this company. Nice! Good road for it. Uh, this is another one of those missions because these back roads don't have any a AI yet, no. drivers other than the ones that are in this race. Obviously, we can't use you know oncoming traffic or anything like that to kill the opponents. Ow! So we what? actually physically have to compete in this race. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, is is he gonna let me go? Okay, he's gonna let me go. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to catch up the first, but luckily they decided for plebs and nice people that trip. are not good right, at this game exactly that they right. make it so you can win the mission without getting second, or, or with getting second, rather than just first. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm tired. I, I it's, it's, it's been Son a long day. The... Constantly getting called back to restream because they, they, they can't have enough of me, I guess. Uh, so that guy I actually pushed me and gave me some speed right there, so I'm not gonna complain. Thanks for the speed, guy and guy and the other dude buggy. Oh man, Uncle Koto would love this. Yeah, what's he up to these days? Uh, he died five years ago, John. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm actually gonna stay out of there. I believe if you go to the left and jump on, like, jump the car off of that platform, it gives you a cutscene. I know it does in a later mission that you actually go in there, but I don't know if it does here, so I just stay away from it anyway so it doesn't it can't give me the cutscene if I'm not there even if the cutscene is there or not uh, if that makes any sense probably won't but add it to, add it to the list I guess like first place. Yes, I know. You um, told me once so twice. the two people th these are Helpful. some re reoccurring characters um, June and Ayamu are the two people that are in this car racing uh, Tanner takes over June who's the driver uh, so technically, June has actually no knowledge of driving whatsoever because John has, or John Tanner has done all of the stuff for you, or all of the stuff for him. So, hmm. don't hmm me. We've talked about this. I I got a really good boost from that guy there, so I'm also not going to complain about that. But I I really like the the huh, especially the writing here. The, yeah, the dialogue like between June and Ayamu in these races is really, really good, and I up, I, I think that well, Ubisoft actually paid attention race? to something, uh, you? which is exactly. weird because generally that never happens. Pretty much like how EA ruins dice games, but, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. I That might start a chat war. You know, it's, it's the same principle. EA ruins dice games. Uh... Ubisoft pretty much does the together, same thing John. with any game that any company presents them with. Finish line in sight. Yep, it's a great way to end our last race. Agreed. Oh, also, just so you know, this doesn't end up being the last race. There's like four more races after this, so they they do not take Tanner's advice. Uh, like okay, my races photo now finish. We retire. Just enjoy it. End of. So this this game actually has a lot of movie references as well. It, right, it's got references to previous driver Santa games. It's got references to Real other video fun. games Could and TV out. shows and movies. No, uh, this is actually a reference to the movie Speed. Um, essentially, it, this guy's gonna say it for me, but we we have to stay above 60 miles an hour, or this truck will explode. Uh, it does get a bit hard to do because there is traffic sometimes, and if you hit other traffic, it bumps up the instability. Nice driving, Pop. Yeah, damn straight. So, um, it's basically crazy? just a full allusion to the movie speed. Uh, we we have to get this truck to a safe Whoever place where are, we have we'll drive another car under it charges. and defuse yeah, the bomb. Steer clear it's pretty much bumps. all for this mission, so I don't really have anything to say. Us up when we turn the key? Bigger plans. I don't know if we've gotten donations to read. I don't know if Hecky is still with us or not. He might be having tea.
Daddy, the stuff in the back, it ain't super stable. Neither's the bastard to put the bomb under our truck. You work with what you got. So, luckily, they, in this mechanic, that they made it so that when you're above 60, the instability goes down. Um, that's absolutely great because nobody would be able to pass this mission if they didn't do that. Uh, I'm gonna ram cancel there. Just because I was about to blow up the truck. Um, yeah. Post your lulls in the chat for me not being able to drive properly. Why is this happening, Pop? Yeah, why are you doing this? Did Jericho put you up to it? Jericho? <laughs> what? You think I'm some two bit criminal? I'm doing this with a buzz. You're terrorizing innocent people. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Fear is power. I and and this guy that you're hearing in the background, he'll actually come up later as well. We, we won't get to meet him in the game, but there's several other missions with this mysterious dude doing mysterious illegal activities. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I I don't believe I'm gonna die. I think I'll make it in time. Okay, we're good. So, uh, we have to go over here and get a car that is low down, and then drive under the truck. There is a dialogue bug that can happen here, where it's... The cars aren't... The cars themselves that you can pick from to go under the truck, they aren't scripted. They're completely random. But whenever you shift into a car, it puts the same lady that plays the same dialogue in the passenger seat. Sometimes it forgets that it put that lady in the passenger seat. So you've got some random dude sitting in the passenger seat with a random lady clipping inside of that random dude and then they're both talking at the same time. Uh, that has happened before. Uh, there's no way to manipulate it, so unfortunately I can't show you, but it has happened. Uh, I, I can confirm. What makes you think Jericho's gonna take his call? This is the only lead we got. How about we see where it takes us before writing it off? Uh, so we're just gonna drive 138 miles an hour into that objective, and then it'll just, you know, don't worry about okay, it. Okay, we're close enough. They better have something to say. Just stay on his tail. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vigorously honk my horn here, uh, move in some swift oh, serpentine motions, maybe do a little bit ah, of drifting, maybe do I a little bit of bridge. jumping, because you know. We've got to stay totally inconspicuous, right? You know, th this guy's never going to figure out that we're tailing him. Yeah, that's very convenient. Listen, boss, I know how it goes, but you know me, right? I swear I ain't a rat. You swear? What next, Carl? Cross your heart, hope to die. I ain't a rat. Listen, that ammonia job, someone squealed. Because it was like every car in the city was an undercover cop. They were waiting for us. What makes you think I need you? I'm a good soldier, boss. Loyal. Your muscle crook. You're disposable. You're making Okay, that's enough of that. Apparently You're this guy has less of an IQ than me and he can't figure out that we're tailing him, him, so. Great. Jericho's cutting him off. Krug's desperate. He'll try again. You better be right. Carl, it's Ramon. Ramon, I'll call you back. Not convenient, man. Oh, also, no something like that I should mention. I've actually bound the sweaty, horn Ramon. key to X. It actually shows you right problem. above the drift bar, or not the drift Carl. bar, the that ram and boost bar. Whoa, uh, it says X like is objective. Um, in default control settings, X is objective because you know ubisoft thought objective was so important that they had to bind it to one of the main buttons on the controller uh not gonna question that but i rebound it to horn so it's easier for me to get to rather than having it be you know like up on the d-pad or something but for some reason it doesn't show x as horn it shows x is still objective even though x is not objective so have fun with that i, d I don't think they planned on uh, me resetting the binding. We got trouble. This uh, we gotta kill free. these orange Buckle boys over here if I don't forget that I'm driving into oncoming traffic. Okay, so I'll just crook. use these boys. Time to lead us these to boys in oncoming traffic over here to kill the other boys. 
We have We've a new donation now. So. Alright, yeah, feel free to read it. We have $10 from insert best British name here with a comment of tea and crumpets. I agree. I like tea and crumpets. Thanks for the donation. So, uh, I don't know why that they're all piling up right here. I think it's just the AI is having, having a little this bit of a Vietnam a minute, flashback lady. or you something. Or paid or I'll bust your chops. Uh, use Tanner's car to kill that dude. Uh, that's gonna work. Um, I believe I'm about to lose the guy we're trying to tail, though, so... Gotta boost and speed up to that. Uh, there is something that happens here sometimes that's completely RNG-dependent. If I kill all of the Man, orange challengers that I need to kill that are trying to attack this Krug dude, um, if I kill them all before the end of this road, Krug will sometimes literally just like straight up hit a J turn and turn around, and thus I'll lose him okay. and Krug's up the restart the now. mission. Unfortunately for me right here, um, it makes a save right now. So if I can't catch up to him, the save that I made right when I killed all of the people in the Orange Challengers, the save that the, not the save that I made, but the save that the game made, um, Crook. that automatically restarts me to again. this position well, right here. Hear me out. So it, it basically foolproofed it to make sure that the AI that. can't outsmart you and then put you into an endless softlock loop, pretty much. Uh, I, I do make a couple comments about how Ubisoft has a bunch of inconsistencies and unrealistic things in this game, but they did make sure that you weren't going to get into a softlock loop, so hey, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Certain things are more important to Ubisoft than others, I guess. I swear you can search me. Search my car, my place, man. I, I promise you won't find nothing. I have two more donations. Feel free to read them. <laughs> um, we have five dollars from Nemesis six hundred and seventy-eight, who says to be read in a British language only. Mother says I make the best tea in all of South South Gloucestershire. I'm not from Gloucestershire, but I appreciate that. I hate to say it, but if you're and not drinking also, Tetley, yeah. Tetley British Blend, uh, you're a loser. I'm sorry. Wow, this guy. Sorry. There's also five dollars from Noob Salmon who says, "Have a nice cup of tea, heck again, and good luck with your run, Tom Rich. Greetings from Germany. Thanks for the Hello, good luck. Hello, Greetings from England. Greetings from somewhere in the crappy Why United job, States. Why? You said I had a minute. Goodbye, Carl. Uh, I can't actually skip that cutscene. I don't know why. It's in the game engine, so I, I don't get Jesus. it, but it's fine. Jericho's gold, we man. just get to see some dude Doing get barbecued. One of his own. He's smart. With Krug dead, we've only got two leads. But if we can't trace the signal that detonated that car bomb, looks like all we've got for fallback is our old friend Ordell Williams. Uh, so, earlier, I, I completely forgot that this was the mission, um, that I was referencing to earlier. I said something about how the Hummer has horrible, horrible understeer, and it's one of the worst vehicles to drive. Well, this is why. Uh, this, unlike the Aston Martin that we were driving that had horrible, horrible oversteer, where pretty much every turn that you made would send it loose and drift, uh, this has understeer, so essentially, uh, it won't steer the car enough when you're at, like, full lock on the wheel or, like, oh, uh, full hey, tilt on the stick. Uh, it won't move it enough, so it's very hard to control this vehicle, and you essentially have to slow down a whole lot at every single corner or turn, because your vehicle will literally just run off the road if you don't do it. So, Are you cut out for this? For you, it, it sucks, I, I really don't like driving the Hummer. Soren, you are the but sweetest guy. we're gonna get to do it for the next 10 or so minutes. Probably not 10, probably more like 5, I just lose track of time when I'm doing runs. 
So I just did a quick rem cancel to make sure I didn't hit that traffic. Not that I'm not damaged already or anything. Masterful. Uh, you can actually lose the cops here because if you start to lose the cops, more of them spawn. So you can't lose the cops until the game wants you to lose the cops. Really doing all this uh, and that's definitely not a little bit too later. I accidentally hit ram there, so I shifted out just so I didn't get really slowed down by that ram. Not a problem. Actually, I was trying to hit that car, like, right at the side of the car towards the trunk. That would have spun him out. Um, unfortunately, I missed because I'm bad. Uh, I'm gonna shift out right here because it's got a little tiny cutscene that makes everything slow-mo and sucks. So I'm gonna shift out and then shift back in so I don't get that cutscene. Saves probably about five seconds. Quick ram cancel so I can actually control this vehicle because apparently in this really car the, the only way to control the vehicle is by using Robert, unintended game mechanics. Robert, anyway? I told you he can help clear so my name. So now we've lost the cops and so now we're gonna hightail it to, time for this now, babe. to this boy who has some evidence. I think I'm not sure. Spoiler: the, this boy does. It's, it's not just evidence. I know. I know that this boy has. He's he's got a bombshell. Ram cancel will slow me down around it's that corner. And then I'm gonna try and now. just boost into him for me. I Apparently have a confession. Not. That's Robert, my boss. I love him and I'm leaving God, you're here, Jack. Careful! Oh God, it's him! Get to the location I'm sending you, Toby. Be quick and don't attract attention. Just let me speak to my boy, please. You don't need. Don't screw this up. I have a box about the right size for David's body. Toby. Don't worry. You Batman said back. don't attract attention, so I'm just gonna drive on the sidewalk for about a mile. It's this fine, helping, don't worry Jack. about it. This game is T-rated, we can't kill anybody. We can just kill them figuratively in my mind, it's fine. Mr. Welch, you now we gotta sit here for like 30 seconds. Listen to me, you bastard! Stop playing around and tell me what you want me to do! I want you to do what? I say, you're going to drive toward where we'll make the exchange. Stay off the main roads. If you can't keep out of sight, there will be no meeting. Now, drive. We'll be there. Careful, Jack. I'm trying. Please. Just let me speak to David! I'm holding all the cards, Toby. If you want to see your boy take another breath, you'll go exactly where I say, and do exactly what I say. We better do it, So Toby. there's actually a slight Just inconsistency here. Back. Um, we have actually, in, in none of the cutscenes or anything, uh, we never ever heard that the kidnapper's name was Cyrus. Uh, he never mentioned his time. name, and Just it was never provided to us in, like, any sort of information. So, apparently, the the kidnapper, oh, who's God. supposed to be unnamed, just gets the, the name Cyrus time? sitting what up there in the top corner. To Don't know where that no came from, die. but We're hey, cool. gotta love Ubisoft. I'm, I'm purposely going slow through this alleyway so I can get a fully lowered suspicion bar. Just uh -oh. so I don't we'll make die on the, I will the trip to the objective. Or not die, but fail the mission. Eh, they're pretty much the same. We can do it, come on, we can do it! The clock is ticking, Jack. I'm a busy man. 
And if Toby doesn't want to pick his boy up in several black bags, you better make it here in my time. Another ram cancel there. This is it, gentlemen. I'll be in the lobby at the next location. Once you give me the money, I'll bring the boy out. You have three minutes. Be there. Is he gone? All right, where's the money? In this bag? I don't have the money, Jack. I don't believe this. Okay, okay. He's headed to the lobby, not keeping tabs on us. We got three minutes to bring enough cops to storm the building and get your kid back. How do we get the cops to follow us? Hit and run. And so there's no reliable way to spawn the cops here. So it's Lucky. basically just RNG. Okay. I've had go. runs where you, you just can't find a cop anywhere and you have to pretty much go to the objective before you get there's cops. One more cop. Um some runners use a strat here where they get to the objective like they get close to the objective before they even get the cops um for some reason i i don't people. do that uh of course i actually know the reason it's not just for some reason but all right i see some more i've i've had trouble in the past where if i go to the objective before getting cops um i just don't for some reason, I can't get more than one cop, and I just basically have to sit there and wait. There we go. So now I'm finally on the the right path that I need to go on. I'm gonna quick fix my vehicle there because I don't want to run out of health like I How seem to be getting close we've to doing. We've got the cops, Toby. We've got time to leave them there. The cops are falling back. So, as you can see, AI, co AI cops still suck at driving. Uh, that's where I need to be going. So that was actually a pretty skillful ram cancel there. Damn it. That one wasn't, but still did, did the job anyway. Do we have enough cops? So I'm Not just gonna sit to here all the exits. And, and wait for the third boy to come, because we had a third boy, and then we, we don't have a third boy anymore. So I don't know, I don't know where he went. This is the problem that I normally face okay, when I get to the box. objective before getting cops, is it's, they just won't spawn near you. So it's, it's hard to get three to do the actual cutscene. Now I have them, so I can get it, but. Stay in the car, Toby. I'm gonna lead them into the lobby. You also can't skip this cutscene. I, I don't know if it, the, the cutscenes that you can and can't skip are related in any way. Some of them are in game engine and some of them are animated. Um, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. It might, but I'm not sure. Why would... People are telling me to reset. I don't know what I did. Uh, heck, he's telling me to rest. He's probably right. What's going on? That's him. So, uh, this is quote unquote Jericho. I say quote unquote Jericho because it's not actually him. It's just uh, a meme. So, uh, the the way that this you basically have to get his oh, health bar all the way to zero. Once his health bar is to zero, it will trigger a cutscene of you backing him into an alleyway, even if you don't actually get to that alleyway. If you damage him even before the alleyway, it'll still put you in the cutscene that's in that alleyway. Um, so that's just, for some reason, the way that works. Um, the game tries to spawn you with a bunch of, like, souped up trucks and heavy vehicles to take this down because I think they want you to do it relatively relatively quickly. Um, that absolutely sucked. I've never done that before, but I now actually need to be careful that AI Tanner does not wreck his own car and then cause me to fail the mission. There we go. So this is what I was talking about. We weren't actually in the alley, but it showed a cutscene of us oh, no. backing many, Jericho many into an alley. Spoiler alert, that wasn't actually dead. Jericho. Two, that was just Jericho, Jericho possessing somebody what? because this is say, secretly spirit too. simulator. I don't know who he's going to control or where he really is. Then get us the hell out of here. He's coming at us, then watch out! So now we just get uh, a nice peaceful three to five minutes of driving, so 
you got any donations, now would be a good time. Hey, it's getting jobs on us. We're okay. And and I say peaceful in quotation marks. Clearly, it is not that peaceful. Do you actually enjoy trashing cars? <laughs> Why do you think I joined the force? How'd you know it's him? I can see him. Any driver of any car, he can do it too. That's not possible. Yeah, well, add it to the list. So the red cars that you see, you know, there's a lightning bolt that goes into a car and then the car turns red. Uh, that's Jericho putting himself into those cars to try and hit us with oncoming traffic like we've been doing the entire run. What's the plan, um, Simple. For some Stay reason, I, 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 if I make the slightest choke, oh, or if I choke even in I the slightest on this, uh, it, it could cause me to actually asshole. restart this when mission because vehicle, uh, it's just basically turns into a pileup, and, and it sucks, but... Yes. So I'm, I'm trying my best to not make that happen. Unfortunately, if I keep hitting things head on, that's not going to work. Barely. And, and... Of course, what I literally just said I wasn't gonna do, I ended up doing anyway, so. Hey, can we get him somewhere narrow? Push him into a wall. Look, if he wants to Post your lulls in the chat now. I'm gonna see if I can get over there in time. Well, we work out what to do. We need to Before I wreck distance. my wreck my own car. Or or as Jones would like to say, you almost just wrecked my damn car. Some people who have played this game will probably figure that one out. Holy crap. You did not see that one coming. It's over. Okay, it's over. so post your lulls in the chat. I need more lulls. Uh, I'm absolutely stupid, guys. It's absolutely great. This actually literally only loses about a minute, but it still, I I lost a minute. So post post your lulls. I'm I'm stupid. Add it to the list of things that I'm stupid about. He's coming at us. Then watch out. On that list is the med relay today. If if any of you were there for that. Damn, we gonna beat Jericho? How? Not this way. Hey, he's getting jobs on us. We're okay. You know it's him. I can see him. Any driver of any car, he can do it too. That's not possible. So I'm gonna take yeah, a bit well, of an alternate route here. Um, this isn't actually a route that I've taken before. You know what you just did there, right? Shut up, Jones. But what you'll also get to hear out of this, that actually, that AI actually kind of helped me out there. Um, you'll you'll get to hear some of the dialogue that you normally wouldn't hear. So I I I'm not complaining actually. We're taking a beat. I noticed. So, there's a whole lot of dialogue in this game that's just completely RNG based and random. Um. Look, John, if Jericho's driving, just stop and reverse into the asshole. So, I, I certainly have not heard all heard here. When you stop that vehicle, Jericho's gone, and all we've got is I, I've, I have definitely not heard all the dialogue po combinations yes. and possibilities there in this God. game. I know, I'm trying. And I don't think that's even possible because there's just so many of them and they're so shuffled up and randomized that you, there's no way that anybody could physically hear every single eventuality hey, and possibility. Get him somewhere I've there. done it again, Push boys. Him into a wall. Look, if he wants us dead, he doesn't care if civilians die along the way. I do. So, while we work out what to do, we need to create some distance. Hopefully this is not going to be a rip run. I don't think it is. I think I think we can pull this off. As long as it does not spawn AI Jerichos inside of the alleyway like it tends to do sometimes. Since when's Jericho been able to do that? You tell me. It makes sense. Yeah, I thought that was also going to hurt me there. But I won't worry about it. There we go. We finally got past there. still here? I don't know. It's quiet all of a sudden. Damn, man, 
Daddy, if Jericho can do your thing too, where does that leave us? It means we've lost them. Now Jericho can shift too. It's a race. It is a race. I this is correct. I, I still think this is actually going to be a relatively good run though. Because I do remember in my PB, I think I actually failed this once. And I have a 305 PB. So, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think I failed it once. Okay, so now we've got some missions that I actually kind of enjoy. I don't know if this is the first one that I'm talking about. No, this I'm is. Sorry. I actually really like this race. Um, this There's some strats in this specific try. race that certain drive. runners use and other runners use different strats. Um, I believe it's faster if you wreck all of the other racers, but at the end you also have to outrun the cops because apparently this entire street race is an ambush. Um, so I just choose, in that eventuality, even if I wreck all the cars, I still have to lose the cops, so I just don't bother wrecking the cars, focus on getting first place in the race, and then lose the cops, and then I think, it's not, it's maybe a tiny bit slower by like maybe 30 seconds or something like that, I don't know, but it's a lot easier for me to just, instead of doing all of that work, just focus on winning the race. Uh, I don't know whoever at Anything Ubisoft you, decided that it would be a good idea to have a Lamborghini oh street my. race on dirt roads. Uh, props to that guy. Uh, that was a horrible decision. There they are. Let's get em. So, as, as I said, it's an ambush. I'm also going to rear end a cop there, but I wouldn't worry about it. I'm basically just gonna focus on maintaining first place for right now, and then if I maintain first place, then I will stay. I will be able to lose the cops by the end of the race. Okay, I'll admit, I'm impressed. Well, maybe we could do dinner tonight? Don't get ahead of yourself. So, this is actually one of the other cars in this game I that I actually so like driving. Impressed. This is one of my favorite cars really? in this game. In this race. Um, just because I can actually control it. Unlike, you know, the Aston Martin and the Hummer that just suffer from horrible, my horrible understeer and oversteer. This is just one of those perfectly tuned vehicles that's fast, it's got good acceleration, it handles great, it doesn't feel like you're driving around a wet noodle, and then it also doesn't feel like you're driving around a, a cement pillar. You know, if you're I don't know if I actually out, clipped through that truck, I thought I clipped through yeah, the side of, of that truck you're for like a sec, Gordon but I'm not sure. Gordon who? Oh yeah, and the whole purpose of this yeah, this race well, is to, to impress a date. So. Always remember, kids, don't mention your speed games to to your date. It never works. Don't do that. Hey, first place and no handcuffs. Oh, Charlie. Give me five seconds. Okay, you crazy son of a... Okay, you crazy... Two truck bombs. So, Two. I'm gonna... This is a mission where essentially, um, it, it ties into the other mission that we were just in where we had to drive under a truck and defuse a bomb. 
Um, there's gonna be ten of these on the highway that we're gonna have to drive under and defuse. Thanks to the love. Um, so while we're nice. talking about that, I would, I do want to mention a thing about getting licensing, okay, here essentially. Goes. Um, so, y when Ubisoft made this game, they had to obtain the licenses from all the car manufacturers that they used in this game. Um, some car manufacturers are more generous than others, so you'll, you'll see a lot of, like, trailer. GM vehicles. Ford is in here a lot, because, you know, those are the, those are the companies that honestly won't really care. Um, there's companies like Porsche. I believe Ubisoft tried to get Porsche yeah, to license this game like so that. they uh, Ubisoft could use Porsche products, Porsche, Porsche, whatever you want to call it, so they could use their products, um, inside this game, but I guess Porsche said no, and so what they actually did, they turned to a company called Roof, which I'm actually driving one of the Roof cars right now, um, which essentially modifies Porsche cars, and turned to them for licensing. And they said yes. So, essentially, they just went straight around Porsche to get Porsche cars without having to talk to Porsche about it. Makes sense to me, because I totally understand why they did it. Now, um, where's the next one? And it actually worked. Um, I believe that other um, racing games have used that strategy to get licensing from car manufacturers, because some of them are more generous than others. I know in this game specifically, there's a second one. All those bombs from detonating. I'm gonna have to shift up there's Abarth, fast. which essentially they couldn't get Fiat to license this no game. Way. This is so instead they got Abarth I'm to do it, which essentially a modifies Fiat 500s. Um, they got them to license huh. this game, so a speed instead of a Fiat 500, you have an Abarth 500 because Fiat was lazy and did not want to license this game. All right, we got five minutes to get to this meeting, Mark. You want speed? It's the only way that producer will hear our pitch. Uh, this truck bomb's a bit of a tricky one because you put a couple of buses around it, so. So this is actually one of the rare vehicle spawns. I've seen a couple DeLoreans spawn while I'm doing story missions, but I haven't seen a McLaren spawn while I've been doing story missions. So this is actually a first for me. I haven't seen this car spawn in a regular game before. Hey, Vita, is something bothering you? Uh, just this stop-start traffic. Let's make our own right of way. Another one. Need to step it up, John. So, so that failed miserably. Th this is gonna be tight, but I believe I can still make it. If if I could get under the frickin' trailer, come on now. I don't, I don't even know what that was. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it or not. Yeah, I should be fine. That just sucked. It's going to be close, boys. Damn it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, boys. I might have fucked up. 
Yeah, I fucked up. Horrible. Amazing. I have Damn, never had this happen before. To get the big Interesting. Gotta keep my eyes it's all going wrong. That is actually a horrible time. Time loss. Man, two years of, undercover cops of course it didn't spawn me all the way like back, that. so... Um, I've got ten more just like gotta do this city. fast, I guess. <laughs> that is a horrible time Enjoy. save. Some of the other ones that I've had are only like a minute. This no, is pretty much five minutes that I've just lost, so... Gonna have to get up high and shift real quick to catch all these bombs before they detonate. Nice and low. This should do nicely. I'm gonna stop all those bombs from detonating. I'm gonna take my... Oh, no way. This is gonna fit under one of those big rigs. I'm not even looking at chat right now because I know a bunch of people are gonna basically tell me to get good which I in that case I will agree with them that was a pretty sucky death I can guarantee you I've got a lot of people in the driver discord looking at me like what the heck dude The worst part is I might have been able to make it if I actually made the turn. I just didn't make the turn because I'm stupid. truck literally just spun me out and I've that sucks oddly enough based on the time that I'm looking at if I actually am careful I might actually still PB marathon PB right here even with all the just absolutely dumb time losses that I've had so far. So, I guess I made myself look like an idiot, but we're fine. I'm fine. Uh You need to step it up, John. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen and then everybody will forget in like half an hour that I totally just wasted 5 minutes because I'm an idiot. There we go. Okay. Oh, hell. Let's hope that maniac doesn't have any more bad days planned for this city. Yes, Hecky. His heart said Kachiga, but his eyes said pull the trigger. That is correct. Damn procedure! We're police, we should just drive down there and roll over that stuff. So, um, when you're in super low level shift, and you're like far away from one of the story missions, you can actually hear stuff that they're they're talking about. I don't know why they did that, because it's not like you don't get enough notifications that there's a story mission by nearby, but Actually, you know what? This I mean, I guess that's fine. I wish. Things I mean, that I'm probably never going to under understand about Ubisoft. You also, heck, we totally should have had a Cars, a Cars game speedrun, if there even is a Cars game. I thought there was, though. 
There's one. I don't think I've seen you enjoy police work this much for 10 years. Devlin, I'm starting to have second thoughts about this wish fulfillment stuff. We're going all in. Yo, so I so this is another one of those missions similar to the one where we were smashing signs at the beginning of the the run. Um, you don't have to hit everything. Uh, you also don't have to hit cars, but I do that quite frequently. Um, you don't have to hit everything that's placed out in the middle of the all of these fake meds that you're supposed to hit. You don't have to hit every single one of them um, because they basically just add time to the timer. So you don't have to hit every single one. Some of them are just placed out in the middle of nowhere that you shouldn't hit anyway. Um, others are ones that are right in the center, so you should take the time to bother to actually hit them. Because hey, it deal. gives you more time. Steady, Ron. Are we gonna finish this? I'm gonna show these guys. After this, though, the time actually done. doesn't even matter because now you're just taking down these trucks. Um, the, on this stretch of road, the game does that thing again where. Okay. Uh, I don't necessarily know why Every I did not fail the mission because of that. Waiting to happen. So I just wrecked my own police car that the the police car that I'm supposed to be driving right now. I just accidentally wrecked that, but I don't know why I'm not failing the mission. So I'm just going to go with it and continue to try and wreck the fake med selling bastards, as our good old friend Ron would say. Um, that was another example right there of how damage can transfer through vehicles. I actually just hit this Cadillac that was at the front that rammed into the truck and killed that truck, so... This this is a actual mechanic. It does work, can confirm. And so like I was saying, the game puts a bunch of heavy vehicles on this road for you to take down the trucks because they just put a bunch of, like, light Fiat 500, stuff like that tiny cars, then you definitely would not be able to complete this mission. I still got it, no matter who I am. Uh, like I said, I like the end of my missions as photo finishes. Um, and I believe this is actually going a lot faster now that I've got all my bad energy and suck suckiness out of this run. This is actually a really fun mission. Uh, we're driving this dude that's in the passenger seat. Uh, he got bit by a spider, like one of the super large poisonous spider, and he's like dying or something. So we have to do a bunch of cool shit to make him not die, I guess. Listen to me, Sam. I'm gonna get you to a hospital, but you've got to try and stay awake. So I'm I'm actually gonna use the mechanic that I used earlier for the driving instructor and one of the Tanner missions. I, I'm going to use it sometimes, not all the time, but it's essentially just doing a bunch of fishtailing because that gets you a lot of heartbeat points. Very funny haircut. <laughs> Regardless, you, you still have to complete the checkpoint route, but the more the more be beats per minute this guy's heart has, the easier it is to get to the hospital. Um, that way, you don't run out. Uh, essentially, the guy does not die in the car before you get to the hospital, is what I'm trying to say. Just left at me. Right at my face. So warm and fuzzy, curling up on a big old fuzzy bear's tummy. Fuzzy wuzzy. No, stay awake. It's a hungry grizzly. It's gonna eat you. Joni, with your big balloon head, will you marry me? With chunks of vomit down your front, you might want to save that question for later. And I actually you really like the dialogue in here as well. Of course, when I'm you? focusing on the dialogue, I hit Stay another car, but... Sam. Stay away from the light! Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll stay away. Wait, hold on. Or is it walk towards the light? Tell you what, just stay where you are and enjoy the light. Don't move towards it, don't move away from it. No, 
Sam, it's the hospital we're going to. The hospital. I can hear angry owls. Giant angry owls. And giant angry owls, guys. I feel like I should make that an FFZ emote in my channel. Giant angry owls. Do I know? We made it, Sam. You're gonna be all right. Hooray! Can we keep all these squirrels? There's. Can we keep all these squirrels? I don't know. Should we keep all these squirrels? So what's with? Ordell Williams is driving for Jericho's crew. I'm gonna drop in on him. Ordell's a thief. But he's not a snitch. Well, he won't know anything about it. I'm just gonna borrow him for a while. Deep, deep cover work, huh? Yeah, that's the idea. He's not close enough to Jericho to blow my cover. But I might be able to figure out what they're doing. The problem's gonna be getting Jericho's people to trust Ordell. Once he's driving like I do, they're gonna love him. Sorry about that, partner. I love him. Ah. Grew up. Keeps things entertaining. That's actually an example right there of a dialogue a piece of dialogue that i have never actually heard before and like i said i've been playing this ca game casually since like 2012 and i've never heard that stuff, piece of dialogue before so hopefully that see. goes to show how much we'll they see. paid attention how much that? attention they if paid to the writing to. of this Free game yourself. and Complete and the dialogues and that You're the random events of dialogue that can happen sometimes Ordell, call me sweetheart again, and I'll string you up by the balls. I'll bear that in mind, honey. Just keep pushing me. All right, Ordell, don't get cocky. You got stones, I'll give you that. Watch it. Get a move on. Just watch me. Picking Ordell. Yeah, uh, just warming up. Time's almost up. Yeah, I know, I know. So that was actually a really, really good time for that so mission. I um, I was actually Relax. hoping that I was going to get something get called Red Skip, or, which essentially would have... It, it's crew. essentially, that's what... I you get you Red Skip when game. you complete the mission before the okay. timer starts to flash red. I actually thought I was going to get it there Layla for a sec, but I was literally one checkpoint off. But on that was still a really good time either way. So I guess that can make up for the fact that I screwed a bunch of stuff off mid... Or <laughs> screwed a bunch of stuff up in the mid game. Sorry guys, I'm I'm super tired. Like I said, it's been a long day. Tanner. My my commentary is is suffering because Jones of how tired I am. City. All the gameplay is pretty much always like that though. Oh man, I've lost it. I've totally lost it. So, uh, John Tanner, we're gonna revisit his midlife crisis for a sec. Uh, everything is now frozen. Uh, everything is now frozen except for an ambulance because he needs one because his mind is fucked up. Uh, so we gotta essentially stay in the trails of this ambulance because it will lower his heart rate. Uh, whoa! As you can see, vehicles still have collision, so don't hit vehicles is the the goal here. This is totally out of whack. Don't hit vehicles, says the person who hits vehicles vigorously. Um, 
I don't know. I I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna keep doing it. I I I was cursed at the beginning of this run. like a rush of blood so essentially this ambulance is gonna go around in a circle until I get to 155 Smart. beats per minute which sometimes I can get super super fast um, I can get to 155 beats per minute super super fast sometimes I just absolutely again. cannot need that ambulance. this time is gonna be one of those times where I just absolutely cannot and that's that's just because I'm dumb, I guess. Po keep posting those lulls in the chat for how dumb I am. Oh man, it's starting to. Try I don't know if any of you guys are aware, but in our like in the hackathon Discord, my my good friend M Sushi has the okay, role of dumb boy, and I just believe after this them, run, after what the performance that I've showcased, I believe I can take that from him. You're not shaking me. There we go. Okay, so I got to 155. Oh. The ambulance is gonna disappear, and then it's gonna show oh, up God. again. Wh what was that? Um, but What's but this time we we be... have an edge TM. Whoa. Uh, we can just okay. this vaporize cars now. Right ass. Let's see you get away from me. Uh, so if you actually go too fast behind this ambulance, the ambulance is going to disappear. Um, so I got horrible RNG because the ambulance disappeared, but then it went the wrong way. And so I had to turn around there, which is slow. Damn it! Weaving through moving traffic is difficult enough. trails real cold so here we go I think I've finally pretty much gotten into the groove and now I'm at 85 so uh yeah, we're losing. just gonna stay glowing. This. There's got to be some explanation for all this. Um, this is a bug where essentially we don't stop glowing, and in, in like the cutscene after that. So, uh, we're in chapter six now. Um, there is, I believe, actually only one more chapter in this game. One or two more chapters. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on if you count prologue or not. Um, that seems like a lot, and it kind of is, but at the same time, it's going to come up really quickly. Um, looking at the timer right now, we've literally only got about an hour left in this run, so. What did you just sign us up for, her? Hey, buddy, it's for, uh, it's for charity, and the clock is ticking. Let's get these cars into the police trucks. So, all of these cars, all of the cars here except for this one, this is the only car that we have to return from this auction that actually has a special strat. The special strat is to literally just turn around and go back the other way to go through the garage before we bring it to the police van. Um, that's because it's so wrecked right when we get into the car that it's going to be really hard to get it into the police van without damaging the car too much and then actually screwing up the entire rest of the mission. So that that's why we take that specific route. What the? Oh, 
One in the bag. Got a lone gun in here, huh? Sorry, pal. My cause is worthier than yours. Ooh, yeah! Time's a ticking. Yes! So, like I said, the rest of the cars that we have to return don't have special strats. They just pretty much all have routing, is, is what they have. So... Um, it's basically just sticking to the route, um, and then that's how to get through this mission quickly. Used another ramp cancel there. Um, I guess that was unintended, but that's fine. That's two of my four good deeds for the day. Get it together, Marcel. It's time to stop. Don't scratch it! Hey, you're right. Gotta keep the sale price up. Damn it, I've gotta keep this car intact. I know! Sorry, Mac. I got other plans. It's Raul. Hey, come on. It's just to give those guys the car. This is what we're paid for. If I can't keep this car roadworthy, it's useless to us. Oh, I see what happened. No, we stole it. From the auction, Marcel. We're selling it to someone else. Get it together, John. If I don't get these cars into the police truck soon, they'll never be back in time for the auction. Ouch! Uh, don't want to scratch this baby up too bad. Are you mad? Deliver one more stolen car, and the world's a better place. This one's the easiest of the four right here. It's the shortest distance, and it's the fastest of all of them. So, and, and there's pretty much very light traffic. Raise your damn game, John. Ah, okay. Um, obviously that was not ideal. Uh, there was a lot of wheel spin there, so I was not getting a lot of grip to the ground. I also did not execute the um, the ram cancel perfectly, so that pretty much caused a whole lot of lost time there. Come on, baby. You've had a long life. Uh, Don't give up on that. That was also horrible. Um, but one point I would like to make out is that even though um, all of pretty much all of the dialogue that's been going on through this whole thing is that people they they need to essentially keep these cars really intact for the police auction. Yeah. Uh, you don't actually scary. have to do you that. You can do whatever the heck you want to those cars. You can hand them in with like literally one percent of health left, and it, the truck will still take the cars. So.
You're not listening to me, Ayumu. I wasn't I'm sorry about that. You were about Look, to. John, if I matter. totally we forgot to mute my mic. We're racing for Jericho now. No, no, totally no. forgot to mute my mic, so me. you could have gotten a stream of me crunching on some cheese. It's there. I turn my back for two seconds, and you boys are in bed with Jericho. You boys? Jun, if you got a way out of this, tell me. Jericho owns every race in the city. We don't have a choice. <sighs> Damn it. Coming through. So I actually also really like this driving this car no as well. This is the Ford RS200. Um, I guess I can give a little bit of background. Uh, this is, there. This is so great, in the uh, 80s, uh, there was a bunch of car companies yeah. that were making these like unrestricted rally sport model versions of cars uh this was ford's it's actually just really nice to drive it's just like mid 80s early 90s i think was when this was in its heyday and so it it's pretty much just a mid-engined pure rally car that's just outfitted specifically for rally rally related purposes and I, I really like it to drive not only on the dirt okay, but on the concrete in this game because, oh, because you asked so nicely. it's Let's see it's a got. powerful yet subtle car Ace I guess landed. is a word that ah, I'm looking you know. for word and words sorry sorry don't be sorry be better at driving okay I guess I've flipped so now I'm in fifth sixth. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Awesome, I should be able to pull this back. We we should be good. I just keep seeing Jericho's face, and he's mad, real mad. We can't lose. <laughs> no hands. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or am I? Perfect, so now I'm in first again. Uh, because AIs, AIs are not perfect. Neither am I, but I'm definitely more perfect than AI that... Yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Come on! Thanks for helping us, it means a lot. What do you mean? Do you know who I am? I can recognize my own brother, John. I've basically been rambling on for pretty much two hours at this I point, and I've completely lost thing. track of what I'm even talking about. So I guess you guys can just pretty much Look at that move. I mean, enjoy the masterful nice. driving. And I say masterful, as in I'm currently not actually in first place in this race, but masterful enough. Minor scrape. Nothing to worry about. Cool. And actually, I'll give a little back, little bit of background. The the whole reason why the commentary pretty much sucks for this run is because I was actually supposed to have a commentator, but he was not able to make it. So uh, I was I'm pretty much free doing every bit of commentating, uh, just out of the back of my head. And so it, it is a bit hard for me to do because I have no clue how to structure everything properly and actually trying to focus on not failing this run so the wind should keep Jericho happy maybe he'll the let sorry commentary away. sucks runner sucks stream sucks I am aware So this this story mission right here, um, it is absolutely interesting because even if these cop cars wreck themselves, it still shows a takedown animation on my screen that takes away all of my controls, even if I was not the one that wrecked them. So 
I'm, I'm actually currently taking a little bit of a shortcut here one for for one as well um but so there's right now i would say there's a good maybe and, and it actually shows it right there um there's probably a good 10 cops that are following me right now and even if i don't wreck them there's a possibility of me getting like 10 you know five to ten different takedown animations going right next to each other right after each other at the same time and it takes away all of my control and just it's absolutely horrible i don't know why ubisoft thought that was a good idea because you know like i said there's things in this game that like you know they thought oh yeah well i'll add this specific mechanic in so it prevents a soft lock but then they add this specific mechanic in that wastes at least five minutes in a speed run and I, I i don't get it sometimes like i said though i still really like this game you should still really like this game uh this thing minor minor no minor things that i love to nitpick about you're doing good to last this long you poor old piece of white trash Yes, a piece of white trash just called another piece of white trash a piece hey, of white Baltimore, trash. I see that is pretty much the summary oh, of this story mission. Like this can't take punishment forever. All them knocks and butt, damn it, so we're gonna He's use strong. oncoming to kill this guy. Um, guy. I don't think there's actually a lot of heavy vehicles, so we're just literally gonna use what we have. It's but it, it won't take this. long. I appreciate any work I can do. So I'm just literally throwing pretty much every single car at this guy. Um, okay, I was a bit interested in how that was going to work, but... So he's literally got like a tiny little sliver of damage left, so... Uh, that boy is wrecked. That was a very, very quick clear for that mission. I'm actually really proud of myself there. And there was a Tanner mission right there, right there, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do all four of these since I just did three of them. That way I can get two Tanner missions in a row. Um, there's no real reason why I did that. It actually does not really matter time-wise, but oh well. This is another one of those missions that I hate that we have to fend off attackers from an armored truck. This time it's an armored truck, it's not a prison van this time, but I absolutely hate these kinds of missions. But for a security guard, you are seriously whipped. Watch it, man, that's coming out of our paychecks. Huh, ain't coming out of mine. That guy better not report us. There it is. Oh, I gotta find a way to protect that van. Think that hurt? Wait till I start in your buddies. What on earth are you doing? So hecky, I don't know if you're still in here, but now would be a good time for donations. We've got literally pretty much three minutes left to do that. I don't know if you're still in here or if you want to get more tea. Bye bye. Where's the rest of the gang? See ya! Uh. 
so right now what I'm doing is more of the takedown animation cancelling. Um, I can actually do it on specifically these missions because um, the vehicle paths are pretty much predictable. So right there, if I shift out, I can predict from. that it will go in a straight line and hit the other car. So that's how I'm basically able to do the takedown animation is basically just off of the predictability of that's enough of you throwing cars towards other cars, I guess, if that's the way you want to say it. There we go. I believe that is a hit. So one thing I don't know if I actually mentioned or not, I don't believe I actually talked about this. Um, in these um, protect missions, All right. basically the this damage, the damage it takes to wreck a vehicle has been lowered for specifically the vehicles that you're trying to hit to protect the, the armored target, essentially. And so, that's what's allowing me to one-hit kill these people. It's just because they've lowered the, the required damage. For pretty much everything except the big trucks. I think they've lowered it for the big trucks as well, but it's not as much, so you still have to get two hits on them. There must be more of them. 15 mil is going to attract a lot of rats. So this one's actually even worse than the first one because we've literally still got a minute and a half of this. They're moving through the van. Damn it. Got to move fast. And animations like that are what sucks because you just can't get out of those animations and you lose control of whatever vehicle you're in. Oh crap. They made it to the van. Gotta kick some ass before they crack that armor. I'm sure there's more of these punks around. Um, so you can also get something called a double takedown. That was a double takedown right ne right there when you hit both of the cars you're trying to hit with one car. Um, when when you do a double takedown, it doesn't show both of the animations. I did try and skip the first one so it would show actually zero animations, but I totally missed the animation cancel there. Right, now for the rest of the game. Think that hurt? Wait till I start in your buddies. And for high level runs of this game, um, the mission like this at the beginning, um, what a lot of the high level runners actually do is they spend, in the first mission that's like this, they spend more time on the ground than in shift because the timer runs faster when you're on the ground. But in this mission specifically, they tend to spend a lot more time in shift than in, in, in ground mode, essentially, in driving mode. So, I, I haven't actually been able to pinpoint exactly why they do that, because theoretically it should hey, be 
the other it should basically equal out either way because oh my God, everything is, so is slow insane. motion inside of everything is slow motion when you're in shift anyway so i haven't been able to narrow down exactly like pinpointing the van's time like actual time save amounts of time save that both of those things cause I don't think the van could have held out much longer. Any word on a... Be smart, man. Play this one clean. I plan to. Are we in a hurry? No. Listen, remember, just play it cool with Ordell. He ends up like Carl Crew, barbecue. That's gonna be on you. No pressure then. You think. You're waiting for what exactly? Nothing. Then drive. Well, that didn't take long. They never leave me alone. First, lose them. Then I'll tell you where to go. I'm Ordell, by the way. You are... I'm your passenger, Ordell. Good to meet you. Good. Hey, we lost one. Great. Let's stop and have a milkshake. What's on the agenda today, then? The agenda with Jericho. You ask too many questions. Keep going. Yeah, they're falling back. And now what? Get me to the industrial park. Just drive there? Oh, gee. Do you have a magic wand? No, I was just... One more word, Ordell. Just one. Sorry. If it doesn't slow us down, I don't care. You trying to impress me, Ordell? Hang on! Very good. I just drive. You okay? Just get me where I'm going. You have to tell me how the cops knew where to find you. No, I don't. I'm not grading your driving, Ordell. Just get me where I have to be. Is this car tagged? I'm in it. That's all you need to know. When I've got you to wherever it is we're going, is there anything? Take me to the large. Bar so I have another slopes. interesting mechanic that I want to talk about real so quick. No, there's nothing um, else you can do. Right here, you're gonna Apologies. see me Not if I don't get beat up by the cops too much. I'll I'll let Sorry, them pass me. Just drive. Really quick. Just keep going. Seriously, when we get so there, you're gonna see there. Um, I, I don't All know if you were actually able to see it, but 
the curb look in their eyes. And the undercarriage of the car, they have hit detection. It says, so, I wish I had that if your car done, is too low for a curb, it will actually right? catch Until on the I'm curb. Exactly which, I need to be. You for for a Ubisoft anything. game, the fact that Ubisoft actually paid attention You're to on the sidewalk. Sorry, minute details like that is actually really pleasing to me, at least. Um, like I said, it's still... It's still not I'm completely no perfect, considering fly. that there are a lot of inconsistencies in this game. But the fact that they actually paid attention to stuff like, you know, Keep undercarriage driving. hit detection is interesting. But honestly, welcome, so, uh, in my opinion. You don't mind my ask. I mind. Understood. We got another cop. You think this is a game? Yeah, we're losing them. Should I throw you a party? Gee, would ya? How many are there back there? Enough. Yeah. Still doing your best? Yes. Time to do better. I didn't know we had so many people on patrol. We? Uh, we the people, you know? So, oddly enough, if I came from the other way, it's for you. if I literally, on the other end of that oh. road, that road has a curve, if I came from the other way, I would actually be able to There's smash my car coming. against Something the wall big. and it would hit the Messing trigger for this cutscene sure, early, even though I was nowhere, like, nowhere even close like to this Ordell's bar. Going places. Um, unfortunately, likes it or not, I'm along I did ride. actually fail a skip a little bit earlier, so I now didn't, I wasn't somewhere. able to come from that way because I was basically scrambling to lose Jericho's the cops. Plot. So We've that did not happen, recent. but that is something that we will we do actually about. use um, in world record attempts for that on this game because it skips probably five with... seconds of driving. The, the you can literally hit the trigger from about five seconds worth of driving that far away from the barn. So that's interesting that they made that happen, but add it to the list. Detective. Layla's with Ordell. I know it. So what's our play? Call for backup and set up a roadblock on Marin Ridge. What, you just gonna drive them both into custody? Yeah. I'll see what I can find out about Jericho first. And then casually drive Ordell and our beautiful assassin right into the arms of the law. Hey, you be careful, man. You hear me? Ordell. I need nothing but your best today. So Let's right go here, we're going to take a Jericho's shorter, a problem he wants fixed. definitely Give unintended, but shorter it. route. Let's try and get to the other thing. It basically just cuts a corner, so. Nice move. Maybe you're not a complete waste of space. And we're also driving my absolute favorite vehicle. You're really starting Hummer to H3. Me Close. Stay sharp. So, this Stay is going to be Wait something interesting. Signal. I don't know how much of this out. I'm going to explain, because it's actually going to come up on the, on the screen. Right. So, essentially, I'm going to be driving the yellow and black Challenger while I'm stuck inside the Hummer. Uh, this huh, this has okay. some weird side That's effects new. to it. Like if a Not car a gets in the between cops. the Challenger and Hope the Hummer, it the in. Hummer will just bounce Damn. it away to 9,000 miles an hour. He definitely knows we're here. Um, Stay with him. Where the hell is he taking us? That that's that I right off the bat I think that's the only one that I can think of that's interesting Hold related tight. to this. Other than the fact, of course, that we're driving two cars at once technically. Um. It's like he's um, us somewhere. Ram and Boost are I'm not sure available. Panicking. Um, I believe everything on the controller is disabled except for um, the handbrake, the gas, Get the pedal, and the him. turn. I'm doing the best I can. Are you? Why don't I believe you? 
also this does this does raise a question uh if if whoever's driving the hummer can't catch up to this car what are they doing i got to say even even Layla is actually right for once in this game. Gotta say. Um, okay, so I think we just on, glitched out a little bit careful, there. Ortel, and stay with him. You're better than this. Hey, that's that John was an uh, interesting turn of events. We kind of just totally you know? glitched out there. You haven't heard of um, I was literally attempting to do a ram cancel, but then forgot I could not ram. So that failed miserably and then caused everything to glitch out. That was interesting. Also, I think that was bad planning on Ubisoft's part, but on the dirt roads, you can't actually see anything because the Challenger just kicks up so much dirt. That, that was actually a problem for me in my last run. Keep this up. It's me. I'm with Ordell. He's not feeling himself. I'll let him know. Let me know. Okay. Your partner up uh, there is about I'm to get not a sure what just happened there. Uh, that is interesting. Uh, this is starting to look more like here, a glitch, glitch exhibition to me. Well, honestly, no but. Oh, God. You mean. Jericho. Sit back and enjoy the show. Not many people get to watch themselves die. I, I'm more than one definitely not sure what happened there. Sorry, Jones, but I gotta uh, I, I would blame Ubisoft, but now we get to sit here for an auto-scroller. Auto-scroller cutscene part two that you can't skip. Glad you could join me. Feels pretty strange, doesn't it? Having someone else at the wheel? I know about the bomb. You're a scumbag, but I never had you down as a terrorist. You just don't get it, dude. You got your eyes on the city, when they should be on your own high. See you in hell, Tanner. What the hell's going on? Just hang on tight. What the hell just happened? Sorry, partner. Had to borrow you for a while. What? Oh, I... Okay, so I, I basically from blown, maybe even dead. What I already Jericho's know, apparently the... it's not uncommon to have stuff in specifically that a remote control mission where you're controlling the Challenger from the Hummer. It's apparently not uncommon to have glitches there, but I've never seen it just like flip both cars like it did there. I've honestly never seen that before. I mean, this game is buggy, but it's not that bad. And I've never seen it that bad before, so. I'll, I'll probably make a clip of that, review that. I've got literally like 10 clips sitting in a folder of things that I've never seen before in this game. Like random bugs and stuff that's never started happening until I run started running this game. So this is going to be one of those races that I talked about at the beginning where there's just so many people. I believe there's eight racers that we literally don't have the room or the time to... Um, kill them all with oncoming traffic, essentially. Of time. So, in the field we're going to just attempt Again. to win the race, which should be easy, but think about the person who's playing the game right now. The same person who failed one of the easiest missions in the game, and almost failed it twice. I'm feeling happy with our position. Shut up and let me drive. Okay, I'm not really doing anything right now, so if you can hear me, I would be a good time for donations, if you have any. Huh, 
car's all right. You can take a new car, John. Who cares? Um, so, hey, I've got some more story stuff, I guess. Um, finally, I after, like, mystic. what, eight races or something like that, true. Hey, uh, I, driving, who's the dude the in the passenger seat in all these races, finally realized that, uh, John Tanner has been stealing his brother's body. Uh, so, right at the end of this, he's gonna tell John Tanner to find his own body. Uh, because, you know, that's the thing. I guess. Uh, Ubisoft had to take a driving game and had to put that twist on it. You know, it's fine, don't worry about it. It's Ubisoft. Not saying I don't like the game, but you know. It's Ubisoft. Almost got this. John Tanner? I feel like that could be a new slogan. You're the best. I survived worse than that. No, you haven't. So that was interesting. I just lost all eight places in one go. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to take them all back. Or fortunately, I'm going to take them all back. Well, was. Maybe I spoke too soon there. I tend to choke in some of these races right at the end, but most of the time the I'm way, back, please. so... Let the car do the talking. Pick it up, John! June! That's what I said! You called me John! There we go. Okay. Like I said, even going 207 miles an hour on the sidewalk Good. can't now kill pedestrians because T the ratings. Way, give me my brother back. T ratings, people. Bye. This is the last set of missions, by the way, before Why the final mission of the game. The final mission of the game pretty much is so long and drawn out that it's not even funny. 207 on the sidewalk seems very unsafe. It, it is unsafe, but lucky for us, we get to not actually be able to kill anybody because Ubisoft T ratings. That's why. Okay, who's up for a gentle head? Also, hi again, Hacky. Hello. A head-on collision? Oh, well, we don't have any directions right now. We haven't had any for a while. So. Okay. So when a shot did make a good point when they said I could reply to you. Sorry, folks. Someone's about to lose their safe driver the bonus. Wrong audio source open. Yeah. Uh. Dang it. I don't know why I'm just totally missing all these cars. Also, that car just glitched out. I totally just shifted out. There we go. Finally gets one. San Francisco. Totally just shifted out right when I had a head-on collision, because that's what I'm actually looking to get right now. Need some footage? Okay, who wants a speeding ticket? Okay. Always good to catch someone in oncoming traffic. Time for a white knuckle ride. 100 miles in. Doing 100 into oncoming traffic? Just an average day for me. Let's see if we can find some water for these flowers, huh? Flowers? I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know if I just soft blocked or something. What's the big idea? You tell me, lady. Because I'm literally doing 100 miles an hour in oncoming, and it's not registering for some reason. There we go. Now that's TV. Are there any? Ah, time to have some fun with the boys in blue.
cops camera action. Oh, cop spawning is great. There we go. Found one. Oh, felony in progress. Now I gotta make sure it progresses in front of the camera. There we go. Okay. I knew the San Francisco grit. That's a wrap. Huh, pleasure working with you. This is just the beginning, Marie. The show's going to... How far through the game are you? Um, so we're on the final set of missions, so literally... Uh, I haven't actually looked at timer. We need to lose the cost to get to the safe house. Yeah, with pleasure. Um, I, I would say this is going to be probably a mission in, if that. Hell, we're going to have some explaining to do. Which is actually honestly really good for yes. this. Considering I failed a whole mm -hmm. lot of important stuff. Careful! Car is still drivable. Then drive it. Yes, scratch one bandit. I can't believe you did something so dumb. But I got the disc, right? Yes, you did. And you've redefined the standard CIA field manual. The definition of clandestine now reads a hair-raising hot pursuit with local law enforcement, squealing tires, sirens, and multiple pileups are standard procedure. Nah, we'll be fine. Close! So, I used a ram cancel There's no right point there to the get the whole essentially on the toe. inside of a bus don't sweat it. to I throw the rest of the cops off. Yet. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to lose off. the cops because of it. Sidewalk. You gotta break because Tell me you're not serious. this road is so windy and curvy. Um, so, here's what I'm actually going to do. Are you doing this on purpose? We have to go purpose? back this way. Sort of half and half. Ooh, they're gonna regret that. Uh, it's Actually, you know what? I'm slam on the brakes and turn we left. We need to lose the cost and get what, to the that's safe That's how we're gonna solve this problem. Yeah, with pleasure. Um, where is it again? HQ, we're sending it through to your PDA now. Or Hell, get hit and go the other way. That also to works. Do. Phil, watch it. Phil! Hold on! Keep it up. If we weren't trying to escape, I'd pull over and punch that guy's teeth in. This is getting just a little intense, Phil. Is there a quick name for this game just Drive to San Francisco? Yes. Is it just like a repeat room? It, it. Wait, what were you saying? Sorry, I, I missed the last part. Is it like a reboot or something? No, it's a completely, it's like an actual game in the series. Don't start. But did I say anything? Do something, Phil. You got a plan Z? Do we need one? No, 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 I'm just saying. Phil, you can do better than this. That's the way, Phil. We're gonna lose them. There we go. Okay. I think I finally move? duped them. Yeah. Then move. I have. Took me long enough. I that wasn't actually that much of a time loss, by the way. It it did look like one, but generally, at least for my runs, it does take that long. Because when you've got cops with Corvettes, 
then it, you're never gonna get out of there, honestly. Uh, they'll just pretty much stick with you for the entirety of the trip back to the objective. So, especially with this mission, um, There's ages up ahead. the two what, places that, that the help? cops oh, struggle to, or the, the two instances yes, where are. the cops yeah. struggle to keep up with you is when you know A, you you're in oncoming, and B, boy. you're going pretty much Italian above job. 170 I in always wanted to do this. Now, that's really hard to do when there's actually a lot of traffic, but they Forget just it. flat out can't keep up with you if you can get to that point. So obviously, one afternoon. I told I'm not. You it would work. I'm actually yeah, not the world record that. holder for this game, if, uh, if you haven't already figured that out. But for for this category in this game, but the world record holder actually is able to do that, and he actually loses the cops right there because he's able to maintain to me, like 170 and oncoming, and the cops just flat out can't keep up with him. I actually currently have the third place run for this category okay. so okay. Yeah. You've convinced me. world record I attempts soon yeah. pm here we are the new faces of justice vigilante cops i like freelance crime but we're gonna need costumes here we go damn right Get it. Ah, oh, job satisfaction. Where have you been? Yeah, hang tight. There's more on the way. Laws of physics apply to vigilantes too, Devil. Satisfied yet? Not quite. Mm, that's what I like to hear. It's your car. Here we go again. A truck like last time. So if we can hit the, this truck right here, if we can hit him you see, sideways and flip the truck, it counts as wrecking the truck even if you haven't actually wrecked the truck because all the fake meds that are in the time back of the truck come out car. of the truck if Any you flip car. it. So, so we, we do try and do that. I don't know uh, if I'm going to be able to, but we at least try. Um, we're actually on the clock for this specific truck, so we actually have to um, wreck this truck within 45 seconds from now, or we actually fail the mission. So, the last mission Oops. you weren't on the clock, Seriously, it didn't matter, but it. apparently it does now, because the Ubisoft. Yeah, still got it. So, I'm gonna just hit it with a bus. Or not, I don't think. Probably not. Yeah, I guess I'm not gonna hit it with a bus. We tried. Oh, uh, okay. I've never seen an AI do that before, but that's also fine.
Dude, you got some air. Yeah, I know. Hey, girl, help. So I'm actually not sure how that's that's working right there. Damn. I believe yeah. I failed, the but the restart is right when Who that knew? truck is there. So if I literally respawn and hit him at the side, oh, I guess it isn't. Okay, I lied. I lied to you guys. I'm an idiot. Don't Here worry about go. it. Damn right. If I can get back to where that truck is and then just hit him sideways and roll him, then then we're good. I've been A little caution, Mike. Ron, I've been you don't have to file XD. accident reports anymore. Oh yeah. This game has fooled me. I'm I'm getting more comments that say reset. You're gonna give me I'm a not heart attack surprised. doing that. Because if this was one of my runs, I would have reset there. This is correct. Satisfied yet? Rest. Not what? Mm, that's what yes. I like to hear. Yes, indeed. That is something that I could use right now, Hacky. There we go. Okay. So not too much time lost. It's probably a minute if that. Here we go again. A truck like last time. Let's chase these predictable fakes, med selling bastards and you see, we're gonna need a catchphrase, a stirring call to arms. Oh, man. So I cannot tell where he's going. There we go. Okay. So hits actually give you more time. So there we go. I think I wrecked him. Perfect. So a uh, stressful moment is over, I believe. Stressful moment of failing the same thing twice. Because You're that's something that only I can do. Trying the 100 it? IQ club. Smash some more fake meds because you know you can't just do it once, you gotta do it twice. According to the laws of Ubisoft. Smashing stuff over paperwork any day. Yeah, it just gets better and better. So, what's the plan? You know what? Chase it down. Chase it down first. That's the spirit. I don't know why he got blown back so much, but there we go. So, uh, that probably would have hurt. I 
guess so. And in real life, happy I would assume. That? I'll be happy when got crushed with phrase. like two buses yeah. right there. Are we anywhere near time? Uh, ten minutes, something like that. Okay. We're literally like on the you last park level. That with me, so the last Layla? level is a really the only long level, but it is I've been last waiting level. to take her down since she busted Jericho out of jail. And now that yeah, I was just checking out to get ready for last one, because there are no yeah, We aren't now? like behind she or anything. And there's no science to this, Jones. She got careless, or she thinks she's safe. Who cares? Focus. Chance to get her. Forty Adam Thirty, update on the APB. Black Hummer heading for Golden Gate Bridge, still on the 101. Your backup is en route. Come on, Tanner, we, we gotta find her. You think I'm not trying? So, ah, quit your whining. This ain't the about enemies ego. that are behind Let me that are chasing me. I literally right now if i was ahead of them i could lose them but right on these like things on the the highway the nice little trip, like baby. side roads now, that are attached late. to this highway uh i would just gain more even if i lost the other one so if i lose this guy right now losing enemies that guy spawns right wow. there oh, you're so i can't actually lose pain? them until that's i get to the golden gate bridge car. that's the only time that i can actually lose the enemies um because again it's literally just because Ubisoft. That's she why. She has to be here. Keep going, man. What choice do we have? Come on, let's put this thing to bed, Tanner. I see accommodation and a big medal in my future. Oh, that's funny. I see warm beer and a night of filling out reports. Let me dream, damn it. So, right about now is when I can actually lose the enemy. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to, but I can't lose them here if I was fast enough. It, it is really hard because they're driving cars that can go 175 and I'm there driving a car is. that can go 135, out, so don't mean to it, it's definitely not a fair playing field. Something just big shift into oncoming and try and wreck this dude. And then for, we can great. actually play a little, little game while we're waiting in a cutscene. Come on, John. Uh, the gloves so, are off and no one's okay. pulling punches. Uh, Need something heavy and fast. I don't know if there fast. was some like car sex going on over there. I'm not sure, but add it to the list of things that I still don't understand about this game. Okay, so the game we're going to play is pre-rendered versus game engine. Spot the difference. Mm -hmm. She's a live one. Have fun. These guys down the precinct, play some... I don't even know... Car sex. There's just an influx of auto-mod banning messages. Jones. Yeah. This isn't her first race. I don't even know why Ubisoft <laughs> even nothing. bothered including this cutscene, because it's just no, so horrible. Won't. But with Layla out of the way, Jericho will have to come out of hiding. It's just Deal so horrible. Himself. I hate it so much. Pre-rendered versus game engine, everybody. So, that's your big plan? Hang out and wait for Jericho to come after us. Layla's off the street, but she won't talk. All our leads are dead. Previously on Driver San Francisco. Wait, is that time? That is not time. Okay. 
because we still have last mission part two. Literally just titled Wake Up because John Tanner might be done with his midlife crisis or not. I'm not sure. Snap out of it. Officer Dan. Yeah, yeah. Crap. Also, whoever in chat said the, the thing about how you're good at driving off. runs into oncoming traffic. I, I was never good at driving, if that's what you were referring to. I'm gonna throw this thing out the window, I swear. John? Yeah, what happened to our call sign? Everything's gonna be alright. You're gonna make it. Uh yeah. We'll be there in about 30 seconds. What's happened? What's happened to the city? So, yeah, uh, John Tanner's almost done with this midlife crisis. What uh, the hell is going on here? Have I finally lost it? Yes. Just keep going, John. Keep going. So, when the camera is above the car okay, like this, Damn late night uh, essentially wake up what the game to the is desk. alluding to yeah. is follow the crows. So, when you've got this like overhead view, you pretty much okay, just follow okay. wherever the crows something. are sitting on the road. Assuming there's a way uh, that's it. like a Man, foreshadowing thing, pretty much, I guess. Out. Not foreshadowing, because we're at the end of the game, but... You know what I mean. Come on, John, hold it together. We can get out of this. Ah! Yes, this man is in a coma. Okay, so right here, we've got like 700 trucks following behind us. So we're actually going to just quickly restart the mission. Because what that actually gives us is a mini-map. And an, a, it gives us the mini-map and the boost and ram bar back. Because um, it actually, when if you don't have those things, especially the mini-map, it just makes it 9,000 times harder to actually figure out how to get past this mission. And if we didn't do that, we'd probably die at least twice. And can't do that, so. Taking a pounding today, me and catching some serious flack here. Come on, baby, oh I'll God. get us through this. Okay. No. I, I see how it's gonna be. We're already gonna be down to half health. But you see, we have something at our disposal. Ubisoft didn't think that people were going to be using the garages in this part of the mission. So, you know, they just left them in there. And so you can still repair your car at the garages even when you're in some sort of, like, broken coma, whatever the heck you want to call this. Like, still partially midlife crisis slash waking up from a coma. Ah! So, uh, Deja Vu flashback. We're back at this place now. Remember this? Yeah, because this was like three hours ago. Uh. We're about to God, pretty much I get butt fucked by this Jericho's prison happened. van again. I gotta change this uh, somehow! I gotta! So, real quick, gotta wreck Jericho. Bad move, Tanner. I'm coming for you, Jericho. You hear me? Uh, okay, I see what he's gonna do there. So, we knocked him into this alleyway, and he decided to RNG the crap out of this, and then just go into that alleyway instead of sticking to his normally scripted path. Uh, that's nice. Uh, not really. So 
so I'm I'm desperately trying to make this here, underestimate, Jones? but I, I don't know if it's thing. going to be. No, it's probably can't. not this is going to be. Twisted mess we're caught up in. Oh, that's just swell, Jones. Perhaps we'll wake up in a hospital room. TV news. I'm back here. I must be sedated. Dreaming or in a coma. Oh look. John Tanner realizes that he's in a coma. Congratulations. Whoa, like the whole city's going crazy, man. Who the hell are you supposed to be? Hey, man, don't blame me. You thought me up. What's with my brain and the surfers? Is this really gonna help me stop Jericho? Oh, uh, what? You gonna try your party trick on me? You can come at me with half the cars in the city, Jericho, and I'm still gonna take you down. KEOC News, your eyes on the city. This is Jessica Adams. Riding with Detective John Tanner as he battles his own demons. What the hell? Can Detective Tanner regain consciousness and save the city? Or will he surrender to this nightmare? Oh, please, not now. Okay. Um. So that's like part one of three. Complete. Keep fighting, John. Keep fighting. Hello, Tanner. You shouldn't be here. This is my head. It's always rules me. Can't do this. Can't do that. I know what's happening. I know this is some kind of dream. You know, it's not a dream, Tanner. It's a coma. You're dying. Let me get this straight. I've been living out the TV news in my head. I didn't fix anything. So the first part of this, we still it's literally just auto scroller. Um, just there's nothing sense. we can do to speed it up because he Jericho has to get us to a certain Holy point mother. on the highway before he just despawns, and then we advance in the mission. So we literally just have to sit here and make slow serpentine Damn, motions to avoid these cars. Uh, he stays away from throwing heavy vehicles for right now because oh, uh, apparently Ubisoft thinks that they want to gradually introduce you to the fact that you're getting stuff thrown at your ass um, but eventually we will get the ability to, ability to throw stuff at him so now he's throwing heavy he stuff but that? we will get the ability right. to throw it's stuff at him head. and then uh, yeah, then we wreck Next him, coma, and then I we want a yacht. wake up. I want deep sea fishing this and a goddamn yacht. Too many hits. We're taking to come back here, goddamn it. So I believe coming up is where, um, no, Next Jericho coma, actually just spawns and we advance on the beach on my in the own mission. private goddamn island. Son of a bitch! It's nothing. Come on, concentrate! Concentrate! Enjoy it now, Jericho, because in the real world, I'm going to break you. Oh, get out of How the many way. cars are there in this game? What was that? How many different cars are there in this game? Um, I don't know, but there's like an official game list that lists them all. Um, I think... Focus, focus! I honestly have no clue. I can't tell you. Okay, there is so much traffic at this point. I oh crap. Okay. Jericho's supposed to be despawning right about now. No, no! Um,
probably going to be a little bit overestimate at this point. Holy mother of Definitely going to be a little bit overestimate at this point. I've never had some of this stuff happen to me before, but it's fine. Damn it, how did he do that? I'm sorry, but we're going to have to ban you. Yeah, figured it was coming. Come on, come on! Oh crap! Let me get this straight. I've been living out the TV news in my head. I didn't fix anything. Still, Jericho's bomb just doesn't make any sense. How is he doing that? Oh, right. It's all in my head. There was such a weird traffic pattern at the end of that, I don't understand what was going on. Ah, son of a bitch! Built to take this kind of punishment, but you and me, we got history. Next coma, I want a yacht. I want deep sea fishing and a goddamn yacht. All of you who are still in chat, Nothing by the way, I know there's me, actually Jericho. still a lot of you Nothing. here for some reason that still are like no, actually coma, watching this. Uh, on the beach, I, on I apologize for the Resident Island. Sleeper commentary, you know. Uh, there's only so much that I can do to make it an enjoyable experience while I'm still trying to actually be competent and try my best to not make this too horribly overestimate, so okay, I apologize. Tomrush is now hosting an AMA, asking questions. Yeah, but feel free. Uh, unfortunately, I have to actually pay attention to this because I will also answer some questions. So feel free. Deal. I enjoy it now, Jericho, because in the real world, there we I go. Okay, break Jericho you. despawned. We're good. Now, so the way that you advance from here, uh, Hang on a second. John Tanner is gonna have Cars uh, epiphany or something Jericho like that. In my head. And then okay. we're gonna vigorously pick every I'm single car we can find on the road, too. click every single one all at the same time, pretty much, and throw them all at him. So, the just rules have literally to... pick random cars, throw them all at him, and then when he starts oh, to throw some at I'm us... You... Throwing your toys around again, Jericho? Dutchies asks, are there any major skips in this game? The are there any major skips in this game? No, because they're all pretty much minor bitch. skips. Um, there's... Ubisoft... Ubisoft made a pretty well-rounded game in terms of... things. No! God damn okay. it! No! Yeah, this AMA thing's really not working. I don't know what's going on here, bro. I think I'm just my I IQ's getting second. to me. Luckily, we weren't too far back. Sajiki's gonna kill me. Sajiki's gonna kill me for being so. I'm so far over so overestimate. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, there's Jericho. Jericho. At least we're on the on the night shift. The rules have changed, Jericho. Bullseye. Um. So, like I was saying, um. Gotcha. Major skips, no. They're pretty much all minor skips, but some of them do save a significant amount of time. But it's not like, you know, like skipping entire chapters along that kind of stuff. One thing that we can actually do here is that the cars Jericho throws at us, there's a limited window where we can actually take them out of midair and throw them back at him. So we try and use that to our advantage. Damn it to hell! Um. Psycho Boy says, what is your favorite anime? No, I don't watch anime. I'm sorry. I'm just a schoolboy who got? doesn't have time to bitch. watch anime. The only reason why I have time to do this is because I'm on spring break. 
Other than that, I would not have been able to do this, so. It's all in your head, Tanner. I could... Give as good as I get, Jericho. I'm gonna... There we go. Okay, so Jericho... is pretty close to being wrecked. Just suck it. He's racked up. Now to beat so death. we wake up okay, from our John. coma, wake up. and then we wake go up, fast. John, it's time. I don't think this is actually going to be that bad overestimate. I was honestly, I don't, I don't feel that horrible now. Uh, so okay, we are now we we have now woken start. up from our coma. Uh, we are back in real life TM. Uh, without the yellow charger because that vehicle sucks. Uh, we have a competent Details vehicle that can drive over 135. Is is that a uh, we basically make our way into the city to try and hunt down Jericho in real life. In the city. And then, Police officials have confirmed that a warning then, uh, has been issued by escaped criminal arrest him Jericho, again. But as of yet, he has because made apparently, no you know, that's the solution if it didn't work the first two times. Word that if anybody follows the driver series. Withdrawn. We're being told to evacuate. This is... It's going to happen. Careful, John. So you want to know what's funny about this, actually? The fact that all of those cars shouldn't have been there. I don't know why they were there, but RNG, it's fine. There was a dude that was supposed to be there that was supposed to totally cut into my lane, but they weren't supposed to be just hanging out there, but that's okay. Not gonna question it. Too busy reading chat, I guess. It's a goddamn smokescreen. Why? Come on, John. Uh, that's fast rats, by the way. Downtown. Just using the hell does Jericho to want you. downtown? Convicts. It's a prison break. He's at the goddamn prison. So, pretty much everything in this final chase that we have to chase Jericho with, uh, pretty much everything is scripted. We cannot just, like, we have to follow him, essentially. Um, we can damage him to a certain point, but then we can't damage him anymore because he has to beat us to the end trigger. So the end trigger isn't actually that far away. And so, uh, basically, as soon as we damage him, we just have to go fast to the end trigger. And then that is pretty much it. Um, I don't know why they made it that way, but that's totally fine. I don't know why. There's certain points in the game where it's like, you know, if you wreck Jericho's car, like we actually saw it earlier, if you wreck Jericho's car, it just puts you to the cutscene of where, you know, like, the end cutscene of that thing when you wreck it instead of having to script it all the way to the end trigger, but Whoa. not gonna question it. Again, <laughs> just nitpicking inconsistencies. Hurts, don't it? Um, uh, 
Uh, okay. Jericho, are you good? Are you, you, okay. AI, am I right? Can you ram him to death earlier than the mission requires? Uh, Take the hit, Jericho. well, get I'm up. actually, so that's what I'm in the process of doing right now, but as soon as you get him to, like, the middle of the end and damage in the top left corner, it, you can't damage him anymore, oh. because he's scripted to make it to the end trigger before you, and he has to be alive to be able to do that, so... I'm essentially getting him damaged to a certain point, and then can't damage him anymore until we get there. So I actually just the gave him a bit of an inadvertent boost, which sucks, but... Where are you? Jones, I'm still in pursuit. Jericho's heading for Hunter's Point. Looks like the docks. Roger that. Hunter's Point. By the book, John. We'll see. So, time is going to be coming up really soon. So, I would get ready on that. Uh, been waiting. This is real now. Where are you running to now, Jericho? So, Jericho does this thing sometimes that's completely RNG based, where he might actually take a lap around the block. Um, it seems to me like that's what he did, but he didn't go like all the way around. I think it's dependent on how far behind you're following him, on whether he does that or not. So I don't think he's gonna do it again, I think we're good. So I'd get ready on time, like, coming up Never within the next 30 that. seconds. Alright, and time. There we go. Okay. I don't feel as bad. This run sucks, but hey, what are you going to do? 3.36.25 Yeah, okay. Uh, that's actually still better than my first run of this game, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, you know, if if you guys want to start running this game, obviously you'll, obviously you'll definitely be better than me, so hey, there's that. Uh, if anybody in the driver discord is watching this, I'm totally, totally sorry. I made a disgrace of your game. My bad. Uh, yeah, overestimate, I, I am aware of this, so, overestimate, underrated, well, hey, there's, there's almost 900 of you that stayed to watch this mess, so, thanks for that, I guess, thanks for the donations that came in, even though they were for Hecky, not me, uh, <laughs> Uh, I am also going to be leaving the stream now and handing the restream over to someone else. Okay, well. So, thanks for having me as well, I guess. Under control, and you were about to wreck my damn car. Now, can we please get that beer? Can we please get that beer? Yes, Jones. 